Uh, hey, what's up, guys? This is Adam of Wizard Tank Games. Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host and dungeon master. Let's just jump straight into the game, dude. It's been like two weeks. Probably not going to play next week since it's, you know, Christmas Eve. So let's rock tonight. Previously on Wizard Tank, lots has happened. Uh, lots of events have happened. So go back and check that out if you need to catch up. Um, but last night, well, I guess it wasn't last night. It was like two weeks ago, but it feels like it wasn't long ago. It was pretty exciting. Jess, I'm sorry, I got to fix your camera. But I'll, I'll keep talking as I'm doing this. Oh, I got to fix it? No, no, no. It, it's me. I forget. When Mike left, it uh, jostled you around a bit. So anyway, don't, don't mind that. Um, previously, the skeleton crew had conquered this flying castle and decided to go and return to it in order to clear it out and claim it as their own. I believe the term was D&D &D b and b that you guys yep. were looking to set up. Uh, yep. <laughs> then, um, as you guys, you, you'd also had a bit of a rift in the team. A few disagreements, um, leaving Vrogs ultimately to feel a little bit shunted and, and uh, ignored. And as a result, deciding to do whatever the heck that he wanted to do on his own. And that took him to Zazaspar. This all happening at the same time, you guys leave to the far northeast reaches uh, well beyond the kingdom of Tithir. Vrogs having teleported to the southern portion of Tithir. Eric remaining behind in the kingdom uh, left to rule, and you guys have a lovely, pleasant experience flying gently on the uh, on the clouds towards these, this derelict castle. And during one of the watches in the middle of the night, Carmack sleeping, um, Nock, their new dwarven companion sleeping, Terran and Alton having some meaningful conversations and revelations on the top deck of the ship. Um, that is until they see a shadow of a great beast flying overhead. They panic for a moment, but then realize that the beast didn't seem to notice them at all. Um, judging by the size and shape, you're left to believe that it may have been some sort of a dragon. But, nevertheless, it continues to fly to the west, or does it? As unbeknownst to you, it had dropped a passenger, and that passenger made its way below deck and plunged a poisoned blade into Carmack's chest. He awakens briefly to realize that his attacker is some sort of feral-looking dragonborn, and then falls unconscious. And as Nock awakens, due to uh, the help of his dog, Briggs. what is it? Briggs. Briggs, his dog who barked and then ran. <laughs> uh, Taryn and Alton are made aware of this, and so they immediately make their way into the lower decks of the ship. I was and... quite brave. What, what was that? I was quite brave. I was yes, very brave. You were first to go check. I mean, I think you guys thought that like somebody was having a nightmare or something, but whatever. I follow very close <laughs> behind Terran. Uh, you were in the lead, my man. I distinctly remember that. You uh, you yeah. made your way down the stairs first, and as Terran enters the stairwell, he you you all simultaneously hear the alarm go off on deck. Something is closing in on the ship. You hear that that tinkling of a bell sound in your ear. It's not really like an, an audible thing, but you guys are all attuned to the ship at this point, and so it tinkles in your ear. <laughs> uh, it, it, was, it was happening, and I couldn't stop it, you know? So I just decided to, I just decided to go with it. Uh, that's, my, that's my kink. Yeah, yeah. So as, uh, as this sound goes off in your ear, you realize that something, it's, it's your proximity alert to the ship. You know that something's closing in. Then you feel the impact of this dragon, this full-size dragon, on the top deck of the ship just behind you. And that's where we left off, mostly because I had... I mean, I have traumatized kids, and they were panicking, and I had to go be a dad, so... Nicely uh, done. No apologies in that regard. I am sorry that I had to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. Uh, felt bad about that. Yeah, like, I totally missed what happened, because I went to the bathroom, came back, and Adam's like gotta go and i'm like 
what happened? Together. Like yeah. everybody's leaving. I'm like, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, All right. It is what it is. Uh, but we're White back now. Lunch. So let's go ahead and roll initiative. I feel yes. like we're ready for it. Um, Didn't we already roll initiative? Well, uh, you're... Uh, you're right. Actually, I do have a full initiative order here. Perfect. Uh, I, have it, one. I have it right here. Oh, 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 wait. That, that's not. Uh, let's see here. There, there's our initiative <laughs> order. Yes. Don't, don't mind this. This was just research. Uh, so, yeah. Our initiative order, Alton, Taryn, Knock, and then, you know, other guys. So you don't have to Alzheimer's? Uh, that's what this one looked like. Now, did that's Alton and Taryn already move? No, we are going to pick up where you guys are in, are in the stairwell. If you, um, oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, Good. if you can see the ship, uh, again, you can look at the map if you want to, but you guys have um, two stairwells. I'm like moving my cursor, like you can see on that. <laughs> but if you can see on like the middle deck of the ship, <laughs> which is actually like the top plane above, well, I'll keep my hands in view here. So you have like the top plane, then you have those two raised platforms on the front and the back you can see those over there and then you have like the main deck and then the lower deck um, obviously below that so you guys are on the main deck having moved into the stairwell that leads to the lower deck where the action is happening or so you think so you guys are in the middle of the stairs descending down um, and as you can see here I think you can see here uh, we will find out I suppose um, let me see. So these stairs move upwards onto these. These move up here. And then the actual staircase descending down. I'm going to finish these boats sometime, by the way, nice. probably. Uh, but the staircase descends down is in the middle. So you guys have gone down in the middle, descending these stairs onto this lower deck. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that everybody is on the same page in that regard. Um, Dude, did you stain it? What is that? You stained the ship? Uh, yeah, I've started to. It's coated in a it looks um, good. mod pod. Did you spill coffee? No, it's coated in a mod <laughs> pod <laughs> seal. Um, and then yeah, you know, I'm gonna put. I'm actually gonna put popsicle sticks on there to make like the rooms and dividers and stuff. Uh, until oh, that cool. time, it, I will refer you back to uh, Facebook. In our private group where you have the, the maps. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, music, music, okay. All right, so, Alton, you are up first as you feel the impact. Yeah. The ship itself rocks beneath the weight of this giant creature. What would you like to do, my man? So if you'll recall, I was being extremely cowardly. Um, I was real, real freaked out, so... I'm really nervous about going downstairs, but the moment that I feel a thud behind me, I I jump and yelp, and I'm gonna like yelp. I'm gonna like tuck and roll down the stairs. Oh, okay. All so right. I'm just going full on down into the basement. Okay. I'm getting away. Um, so it's a, it's not an enormous staircase. I'll say that it's probably about a ten foot drop to the bottom, but you were already okay. close to the bottom, so you only stumble okay. down a few stairs. But as, yeah, as you stumble, you kind of uh, we'll say that it takes half of your movement to kind of pick yourself back up from a okay. pile on the ground. Um, what do I see? Looking around immediately, you don't see, um, anything. Uh, let's see here. Again, calling back to the, the maps, they yeah, are looking at. inside some of the rooms on the, or the, the hammocks. They're, they're by the hammocks. Okay, and I'm on the opposite side of the boat, like on the opposite side of You're the right maps. in the middle. Is that right? You're right in the middle. Oh, okay, cool, I see. Um, then yeah, I'm gonna look around. Uh, do I hear anything? Can I make a perception check? Yes. Sweet. Let's see if my dice fail me again. Hey, Adam, the camera's uh, no, not jumped. that bad. Just let you know. Uh, Mike? Yeah. You're ruining, the, 11. you're ruining the stream, bro. 11. Snip, snap, snip, snap. That's all I can say. Snip, snap, snip, snap. Aw. What? That's I... all I hear? That's not what I meant. That have happened. Maybe it was, maybe it's unrelated. Probably not. Danny, text him and tell him I was joking. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't understand what's occurring right now. Well, I, just, I made that joke about Mike ruining the stream and he immediately oh. left. 
<laughs> I didn't. That's not. I didn't. That was a joke. I wasn't. That was me. Douche. Yeah. Okay, so I got an eleven on the perception check. What do I hear? And um, I'm gonna say something like, uh, "Come back. Are you there?" You you hear Briggs, uh, which you've not really paid much attention to. You've noticed yeah. that he's he's been with Knock, but you've not really paid much attention to the dog. Um, okay. You do hear him growling and barking, um, okay. and kind of the commotion. You've heard Knock scream something, but you're not. You couldn't tell what it was that they said before, and it's kind of silent at the moment. I mean, in, he's um, a he's a pretty dog. big dog. I'd yeah. imagine it's like it's like a booming like. Yeah, because he's a massive or something to that effect, right? Then yeah. I'll use he's the there. rest of my move as much as I can to go open the door where the hammocks are and peek inside that room. I'm going to do it very quietly, though. You need a stealth check? I need to quit jacking stuff up. Um, I'm going to Facebook real quick now because I don't have that map up either. Okay. Yo, that was a fun sound. Yeah. Um, oh, me... sorry. I'm going to need... <laughs> yes, go ahead and make a stealth check if you wish to be, like, Let's to try to make it. that extra effort to be stealthy. Yeah, and I mean, I when I came down the stairs, I did call out for Carmack, but now I'm like, ah, I'm just going real quiet. <laughs> Cre yeah, you kind of creeped out. What, what is it? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. is happening? Creeping I got you. Uh, stealth check. That'd be an 18, dog. Okay. Nice. Uh, 18. You feel super stealthy. Again, moving around here. <laughs> I hate you, when you, you say that. <laughs> I, mean, I gotta keep you it vague, feel right? Super I gotta keep it vague. <laughs> so, as you begin to move towards, you, there are double doors that are closed, um, okay. except you notice that they are cracked open a little bit, ever so faintly. They're not completely latched, those double doors you can see on the map there. Uh, and again, from the staircase that you've descended, it is probably. 15 feet or so to the doors if you would like to try to make it to them. Mm -hmm. You do? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you press in towards towards the doors and you get to you get to the doorway at the end of your movement. You open the door and you can see this hunched, cloaked, hooded figure standing blade in hand and it's much bigger than a dagger. Um, even the bit that you can see. You can see about a quarter of it and the hilt double-handed into Carmack's chest as he's beginning to pull it free. Uh, you can see Knock, like, kind of half-rolling out of his hammock at this point, and the dog has backed up into the far corner as much as it can, over towards the table. Um, How far am I from him? You are... At this point, you are probably 10 feet from him. Um... Okay, then I am going to. Can I prepare an attack for when he turns around? Like if he takes a step toward me. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold my action and get ready to pummel this dude. Okay, Taryn. Okay. Hear, by the so way, can you guys hear the music I at can... all? No. Not really. Can. Uh. All right. Put it up. But I do hear the Geiger counter still. <laughs> We're being mildly irradiated. What? I am? Evan can hear a Geiger counter. Yeah, I keep hearing a sound like a Geiger counter from fall uh, Fallout. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Weird. It's a thing that measures radiation. No, I know, but I don't know what it sounds like. Like clicking. It's kind of... Oh. Like a... It sounds like... It, yeah, it's almost like... Like between a click and a and like a hissing radio. Like, yeah. Wait, like what? Isn't it similar to like uh, the Ghostbusters <laughs> Acto Reader? Okay. Yeah, exactly. I am. I'm pretty much situated to where I can either go on deck and see what's landing on the ship or run down into the room. Correct. Yep. And tear or and alternate downstairs. Yep. Yeah. You're, and you're about, like, I don't know, a quarter of the way down you can, the stairs. You can solo a dragon. It's okay. You don't know it's a dragon. Oh, he's got uh, this. I'm you going could, up. I'm going to go think up. That it's a dragon. But the bell's going off. It's a dragon. Uh, as soon as you, <laughs> you kind of you walk back up. So, again, the, the stairs kind of descend into the floor at, the, like, the middle. So you, you come back up and throw open the hatch again, and immediately you see this hulking figure, this huge dragon, Looming what color over is you. It? Um, 
in the light, I'll say that you can see it. Uh, it's green. It's like the nope. weakest I'm going back down. And you you hear <laughs> and you can almost feel a draw of your body as you hear it go. Oh, it's inhaling. Yeah, it takes in an enormous breath. Wait, 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 wait. Is it meta oh, for him to run away when he sees the so, color? Does our shields not keep this thing out? No. I mean, it's a dragon. Um, yeah. yeah. So it has a I mean, frightful... I'm just going to be like, nah. No, and in fact... Make him fat. Yeah, him in face. fact, Terran, I'll say at this point, you can see, like, um, almost like cinder, like the shield just being dissipated from just the sheer impact of this dragon piercing it. Wow. Just... Um, and fading away. Yikes. Can I see what size it is compared to the one we just fought? It's bigger. A lot bigger? Yep. Crap. Uh. Even though there were different types. So, like, y you wouldn't really know this. As a meta speaking, the, um, the black dragon is a little bit leaner than a green dragon is typically. Especially because the green dragon is a bit taller. Uh, its legs okay. are a bit longer. So it does seem substantially bigger than... Than the other one. What would you like to do, my man? Uh, How much of my movement did uh, I use to get there? One, five one shot it, dude. Yeah, five feet. Oh, five feet? Yeah. You have plenty of movement left. Just, just one shot the dragon. Mike says he'll be is back it, in a few minutes finishing a pop tart. Is it, is it an action for me to talk to it? Uh, no, you could say, you could say something as a free action. Uh, can I telepathically ask him what do you want? What do you want? Uh, okay. Uh, make a persuasion check. Yeah, no, I know, like, dragons are intelligent. Oh, I just boosted my charisma too, so that's nice. Hold on one second, let me scroll on up here. Like eighteen. Nice. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, as you said, is what? What do you want? It it kind of narrows it. It's like narrows the gap between you and its face as it leans in a bit, and you hear in your mind, just the dragonborn. Oh. Whoa. Uh, wait right here. I'm going to go get him. <laughs> and then my head back inside. Uh, I will say that he says slightly more. He says, Just the dragonborn, servant of the red. Of the red? Yeah. Um, okay, I'm just going to I'm gonna say the same thing and head downstairs. <laughs> Okay, you begin to hear a hissing sound from beneath or from above you. Balls. Wait, so wait, what color are you, Carmack? Oh, you're color. muted. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm silver. <laughs> All right. Anything, All right, I'm anything else? You're gonna move just your 25 feet further down into the stairwell. Uh, how far down can I get? I mean, how close can I get to everyone? Uh, so. I mean, it's it's a ten foot staircase, so you've moved five. You can use another ten feet to get to the bottom, and then whatever you have left. Yeah, I mean, I I'll try and get. I take that back. It is difficult terrain uh, if you're trying to uh, move I ignore down the stairs. Terrain. Okay, yeah. With my with my turn. Okay. Okay. So you just kind of parkour down the stairs, like holy crap. I imagine that when I do stuff like that, my feet are just kind of floating a little bit above the ground. But, like, really fast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I moonwalk everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do you do when you get to the bottom? You move uh, towards the cabin? I mean, put me as close to Carmack as you can. Okay. All right, so that brings you here. Dog is in the back. Here, like this. Carmack's dead. Here's this guy. I don't remember what this thing was, but I'm going to remove it. Okay, so as you have made your way, um, 
you, you kind of butt up into like this doorway where Alton is. And you're like, hey, what you know, like, what's going on? You can peek and you can kind of see this large figure kind of looming over Carmack. You can't really see the details of what so, it is that's happening. As soon as I, this is gonna sound stupid, okay. but you know how you can like feel that somebody's behind you? Yeah. As soon as I feel him coming up behind me, I'm gonna hold my hand back so that he kind of sees I'm motioning and not come closer. Wait, why? Why would I not want to come closer? Uh, because I don't want you to make noise. There's a baddie in there, right? Yeah. But can you I don't have me? enough move unless you're double moving. Because I didn't I don't move. need movement. I can have ranged attack. Okay, well, either way, I'm signaling you that there's something going on in the room ahead of me. Okay. Um, I'm gonna blast the guy. The bad guy. Yeah, it sounds like something you do. <laughs> okay. Can I do that? You can certainly try. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and make your attack. You can use your concealed uh, and then, cannon. Does Duncan, does Duncan move on my turn? Because I yes. specifically said I'm bringing Duncan along. That's what the thing was. What happened to Duncan? Why was he... Why did I have a... A yellow thing around him? Was it just to designate him from Briggs, maybe? Uh, I'll, I'll say yes, that. I, I, can't, so. I can't Yeah, recall. I bet yeah. so. I don't remember him having a condition. Yeah, I mean, we hadn't done anything, so... I will say... Yeah, okay. Yeah, so if he's with you, that that's fine. Uh... But he has less movement, so I don't think he can get there unless he can fly. Which I'm guessing the quarters are too tight. Yes. Um, so I'll keep him behind me. Um, and then I'm going to blast the bad guy. Okay. Go ahead and roll. With, uh, are you readjusting uh, saving throw for you, dude. Sa oh, saving throw? Okay, yeah. I am, yeah. I'm working yeah. on it right now. What? Uh, what's, what's the save? Uh, Ooh, it doesn't oh, matter. I rolled a two. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I'm, I'm using combustion on him. Uh, is that a deck save, though? Uh, Probably a deck save, right? It is a constitution save. Ooh, constitution save. Alright, hit it. Alright. Nice. Uh, momento. Sorry. No worries. I'm still fix your camera. Alright. Alright, just gotta find the right die. Finding a D10 is literally the worst. It's the one with 10 tides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. It's, it's one of two with ten sides. That's right. Te you're right. Wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. Burn. That's what I'm here for. To make it you feel destroyed. dumb. And to ignore <laughs> it when you make me feel dumb. <laughs> All right. That is 28 that's 28 damage. Okay. And so it's just this fire just rips over his body. Excellent. And he and uh, he takes one D because he caught on fire. He failed, right? Yes. Uh he takes 1d6 fire damage at the end of every one of his turns. End of every one of his turns. Excellent. Okay. Um, yep. Knock, you are up. As you see, just fire engulf this thing. And it it's the sound that it makes is more bestial than it is like a humanoid. Like the thing, you know, it's not like, ouch, you know, anything like that. It just kind of like, oh, okay. All right, so um, Not kind of like shakes his shoulders, kind of you know he just woke up, and he's gonna um, he's gonna be like, he's like, are you alright there, dragon boy? And he's gonna he's gonna <sighs> cast healing words on Lance, level level three. All right, level. all right. Let's see here, Lance gains. You gain eleven HP back, and then I'm gonna Go. run. I'm gonna run up and just bring my hammer right down on his head. Not, okay. Not, not Carmack, the other guy. Right. And now you die. No. And now you go back down. Actually, right. wait. It's not. It's not a hammer. It's a cleaver. Okay, I cleave the, him. Right. Right. I'm actually gonna hit him right here in the meat of his shoulder. Just awesome. As hard as I can. Awesome. Yeah. So go ahead and roll your attack. It's amazing because it's a natural one. Barf, dude. Yeah. So yeah, you you as you begin to move through you get hung up on one of the hammock you just woke up you cast a spell you grab yeah. <laughs> you grab your spell cleaver immediately and you take a few steps forward before you feel like a pull 
and you're you're tangled up in the uh, in the hammocks. Yeah, you um, know it's bad when your roll is less than the one you just healed for. So. Just... <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. That said, you can hear from above you this massive expulsion of gas as it just this poison breath just spews downstairs, filling the entire area. I will say that anybody... Okay, so this is going to be Alton and Terran. Oh, you crap. have to make the save at normal. Everybody beyond that, I'm going to give you advantage just due to distance. But okay. the poison breath just What if I already have in. advantage? Because I'm a dwarf. <laughs> uh, then you have advantage still. Dang it. <laughs> what did you say the save is? Uh, I have not said yet. Dang it. But you can just, you feel this almost like, uh, like a, like a fog machine, but it's like has a greenish tint to it. And as soon as you're able to recognize that you're seeing it like tear gas, it burns your eyes. They begin to water and you can't all help but take a breath. Well. Yes. Everybody, everybody them? makes a save. What, is it a con save? It, yes, it is a, it's a constitution saving throw. Alton okay. and Terran roll straight, uh, Carmack and not roll with advantage. Ooh. 23. Okay. So, uh, two. Okay. <laughs> 17. Okay. And Carmack, as you're like, <gasps> seven. <laughs> seven. Okay. Yeah. I basically breathe in a nice, uh, no! breath of poisons. Oh. Okay. If you die, I'm never forgiving you. Um,. You know, I really want to roll this, but I, I won't I won't waste your time. Uh, the anybody that fails takes fifty six poison damage. Uh, okay. Okay. A success. Why are you be that way? A success takes. Oh, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Not the only one that succeeded. Yeah. Did you guys see the ch in the to chat? Somebody's like, "Want to become famous? Buy followers, primes, and viewers on bigfollows.com." <laughs> nobody go to that. Nobody click that link. No, nobody click that no. link. Don't, don't, don't click on that link. <laughs> oh, it's just a whole bunch of concealed cannons. <laughs> Good lord. All right. So any any yeah. So everybody except for Knock fails. That's so you crap. all take fifty six poison damage. And oh. uh, knock, you take. Uh, help me out. What is that? Twenty-eight. So I already have resistance too. Okay. Fourteen. So you take fourteen poison damage. Okay. That hurt. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't that like hurt. that. That hurt. Well, no. Else who succeeded? Vrox. Vrox. Succeeded in <laughs> abandoning his. I, team. I failed with <laughs> <a> seventeen. <laughs> what was the save? Eighteen. Oh, oh my I need gosh. <laughs> Do I need to roll for Duncan? Yeah. And you need to roll for Briggs. Oh, poop. Actually, you don't oh. have to. He's going to take 28 damage. They're both going to take 28 uh, damage. Okay. At least. I, I think I succeeded. I, I've I never... got a 22. We never talked about what his stats are, dude. He's a Mastiff. Um, oh, okay. I have the card. I guarantee you he's dead. He yeah. is. He doesn't have that much. Yeah, he has like HP. Eight. Uh, does is the wyvern still up or is it dead too? Yep. Or unconscious? It's, no, it's, it's up. It's, it's up. Okay. Yeah. So Briggs. How many, how many points did you say? I've got a. I got a thing twenty-eight. Here. Oh yeah, he's he's got he's kind of hardy. I've I've got it I've got it here. He's down and dead dead. So, like it yeah. it like it quad it like ten times his health. Holy crap! Dude. He only had five. Sorry. Rip Briggs. <laughs> I use revive a fight. No, I'm a dog. <laughs> hey, if I it's your, if I, I it's your dog, I might. I might. I might. We'll yeah, see. I mean, it's your dog, man. Okay, Carmack, you are up. Right. <clears throat> Does save. Oh, you're down again. Yeah, I only had oh. eleven hit. <laughs> I only gave him eleven. <laughs> hit. The right, yeah. So, yeah. um. Yeah, it wasn't enough to just outright kill me, but... Ultra rough, man. 
Um, it's a fail. So. Yeah. One fail. First one. One fail. Okay. You do feel. You hear rather, a voice, a somewhat familiar voice, the voice of Safara. Who just goes, Carmack? Why are you here? And I'm like, it's now the assassin's turn. Who? Ring it. Um. Okay, so he he's only been hit once. Um. Did he fail the poison save? Uh, he's immune. Of course he is. Of course. He is. Sorry. Um, You're so nice. At, at this point, you notice not that he is also a green-skinned dragon, um, but he he doesn't look like Carmack. He looks like we discussed before. Carmack has like a certain humanity to his features. This creature looks almost like you took the head of a dragon and put it onto a body. It, it looks very bizarre, very feral looking in comparison um but he quickly looks around he notes Carmack's condition and as he's like he's kind of half pulled the sword out at this point he plunges it back in and uh, -uh. uh tries to outright kill him no i don't like this guy if well, it's on. It yeah, it's automatic, right? Yeah, if, if, if he, he hits, hits, if he hits. Oh. I guarantee Which, that I do. Uh, twenty-three. Yeah, I was gonna say because you hardly have point. any armor. Twenty-three. So at this point, oh he gosh. plunges the sword back is into it, the hey, hill. Hey, Adam, is it poison? Uh, it it does have poison in it. Although the physics he, doesn't matter though because it's yeah, gonna he, be a, yeah. a crit, which automatically is two death saves. Yeah, it's a coup de gras. Yo, Adam, your camera's freaking out, dude. Oh, am I shaking it's like it? Yeah, it's going like, and it's like sorry. leaning back and forth a lot. Okay, is it so? It it, it doesn't. Yeah, so. so he does something other than just poison. Yes, I mean it's it's uh he stabbed him. Cause you know I have that feature where I can take it, take it away from him. Um, yeah, I, nice. I mean he, he stabbed him. Okay. Yo, I think your camera's busted, Adam. Oh, sorry. I can see it rocking now. I know. We, I see what you're it's saying. It's just like zooming in on your face and zooming out. Like, wow. <laughs> it's it's like that cat that's grooving. Yes, cat vibing the different songs. <laughs> I thought that earlier, but I was like, I don't know if you guys have seen that. I don't want to say it and sound stupid. <laughs> Dude, why is it doing that? I wonder if it's like something with the light. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna like it keeps refocusing. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it off real quick, see if I can figure it out. <laughs> anyway, my face isn't important right now. Did Mike leave again? Yeah. Bro. Yeah. That's Mike, you're killing me. Um anyway, while we're here. Oh wait. Maybe that didn't work. Yeah, so the, the blade plunges into Carmack's chest as you you hear him like this. It's the sinking sound of his lungs collapsing beneath the uh. weight of it. You can see this, this dark blood kind of spew out of his mouth as his body goes limp in the hammock. Uh. Hey, what time of day is it? Is it nighttime? It's night, yeah. All right, um, that was his turn. He is then going to run. And so as he runs, he leaves melee with all three of you guys as he tries to bolt back towards the stairs. Yeah, he does. All right, here it comes. Uh, he takes 1d6 damage. Okay, <laughs> roll it. Uh, two. two. Two damage, okay. Does a 24 hit him? Yes, 24 hits. Uh, as the fire just kind of, again, just kind of billowing off of his shoulders. 14. Uh, 14 does not hit. I think it... 
17 damage. I will of, say, though, I, I will say this. Fire. You technically would get two attacks. Even without Bolton. raging? Yes, because you had prepared an attack for when he turned around. So as soon as he turns around, you would unleash an attack. Oh, okay, perfect. And then, and then an attack of You unleash your Yeah, and then your opportunity. Uh, yeah, the next one hit, I got a nat 17. Wait, those are both reactions. I'm sorry, you only get one. Dang it! Th those are... No, held in action. I give it to you. I, I give it to you. My bad. My bad. Yeah. Okay. Natural seventeen on the second one, so I think I hit. Uh, seventeen just hits. Okay. Well, I mean, I had bonus on top of that. I had an extra nine. Oh yes, yes, yes. Got you. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So. I was not raging though. So. <laughs> that was only only four. I did. Okay. Yeah. I did 17 damage, seven of it being fire. Nice. Excellent. 17 damage. Nice. Lance, I just sent you a chat and zoom. I real. I did pretty good on damage. For a change. All right. So you first time in yeah, my life. You slash into him huh? with the cleaver. Uh, he's erupting in flame already, and um, you're able to. Thanks. To kind of you, you take a swipe at him, Alton, as he runs past you, and again he just kind of slips through you, and he makes it to the stairs, um, and he's about halfway up the stairs at the end of his turn. Okay, whose turn is it? Um, that brings us to Alton. Okay, uh, I'm immediately gonna run to Carmack. Uh, I know meta that he's dead, but Alton doesn't know that, so uh, I'm going to run to him and shake him. Okay, and as you you shake him, he does not move. Come back. No, no, don't do this. Don't do this. Uh, and I immediately begin to hit his chest. Give him some mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Mm, <laughs> gross. And no response. Mouth-to-mouth. <clears throat> -mouth. Uh, I feel like I would, because it turns only, what, six seconds? Is yeah. that right? Yeah, I, then I've, I've spent my turn doing that then. Okay. Trying to revive him? Yeah. Right. Um, Alton, that's your turn tearing you up as this guy kind of, boom, blasts past you and runs up towards the stairs. Hold on one second. Yep. And then knock you on deck after that. Brogs, it's a nice sunny day in Zazaspar. Uh, weather's beautiful. You've made some good friends. I'm drinking Mai Tais. Nice. <laughs> um, when we get to that point, the wizard school, I would like to snoop around and see if they have any like powerful magical objects lying around. I mean, they have lots yeah, so of are, powerful magical items. Are you typing items. to me right now? None of them are lying okay. around. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, yeah. I, I'm going to be snooping around. I, I sure, didn't sure. expect it to be laying on a coffee table somewhere. Y'all haven't got any gold you aren't using, have you? That one guy Laying ran around. away, right? Uh, he's in the process of running away. Is he running towards the door, or is there like a window he's running to? He is halfway up the stairs. How did he get past me? He ran past you. Well, don't don't I get an attack of opportunity? Yes, you you didn't make so one. Does, my wyvern does too, right? Yeah. No, my wyvern. Yeah, everybody did. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you, you I, ran I past all of you. Okay, hold on. I, I, I assume that, that you had missed. No, no, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't hear you. I was talking to Lance. Uh, what do I roll for that? Just a D4? Or a punch? Uh, what is it? You have to make an attack first. Yeah, make an attack roll. D20, okay. add your strength. Nope, that's probably a miss. Uh, 10? Yeah, so you, you take a swipe at him, and he kind of blasts past both of you. Uh, but and your Duncan's wyvern... going too. Yeah. Uh, oh, that is a... Wait, plus, what do I add to it? Strength? Um, do, do you From have the wyvern? wyvern? Do you have the wyvern stats? Because he's got. Yeah. I mean, he can, is it? A, I assume a sting attack, correct? If you, if that's okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what it has to be. Yeah, I'll let it be a sting attack. It would make the most sense. That it would be a sting attack because he is okay. young. That's a, a twenty-three. Twenty-three absolutely hits. Okay. And so, oh gosh, hold on. All right. So oh, that's gonna be. That if you want to roll for it, it's going to be 2d6 plus 2 piercing damage. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, that's 11. 5 and a 6. A 5 and a 6 on the what? dice? So 13? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then they have to, on top to make of that, a constitution saving throw. Yes. Of 15 or greater. Uh, 18. Okay. On the dice. Yeah. So he saves. So it takes half damage. Yes. Uh, but, yes. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. That's it. Which would be... 3d6. So 3d6. Poison okay. damage. Okay, I'm... And then I'm gonna run up to Carmack. Yeah. I'm gonna take out the luck blade. Okay. And I'm gonna make a wish. Nothing happens. Oh, as what? you are not attuned Wait, to it. Yeah, you have to be attuned. Oh, oh god. Well, I'm gonna yeah. put it in my pocket. Okay. You're gonna put Carmack in your pocket? Attuned. No, he's just gonna rob his corpse <laughs> real quick. <laughs> and I got a bonus action, right? Yes. That, cause that's my action to take it. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, interact with an object, it's, that's a free action. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I will say that you do spend your action trying to wish, though. Yeah, okay, and I'm gonna be fine. like, uh, what we do, Taryn, I think he's dead, what we do? I will say, though, that, uh, yeah, that, yeah, nothing happens. You're like, I wish that Carmack would be alive, or whatever your wish is. Nothing happens, uh, but I'll say I that, say it? that takes or your do action. I know that I no, but okay. like you said, you try. Yeah, you just... Do you want me to say what my wish was going to be? Because yeah. it's really specific. I'm curious. I'm going to wish that time would reset for 24 hours back. Yeah. <laughs> just happens. so you know. Uh, that's a good okay. wish. That's a good wish. Um, and then I'm going to, I guess, bonus action. Use telekinetic my telekinetic mage hand, and shove. This says I can shove a creature five feet. Can I use that action to trip him instead? Or I think trip is um, a standard attack, isn't it? Like you could have, but you ran towards Carmack, and this guy's up the stairs. Yeah, but I, I can do a creature I can see within 30 feet. Oh, oh he's already out. Um, yeah, I would say that he is well up the stairs. Okay. I mean, he's he's halfway up the stairs. Uh, I take it back. The stairs are... Yeah, I'm not... You I'm... said they're mm, 10 feet. Make a perception it's... check for me. Make a perception check. Okay. Let's let the dice settle this. Uh, 11 plus, hold on. Perception is super high for me. If you, if you beat a 15, uh, you can see his legs. 11 plus 7, 18. Okay, you can still see his legs as they're like he is just about to get out of your view. <laughs> okay, well then no. if, if he's coming, I want to push him backwards down the stairs. Then. <laughs> what's up? Instead of what's, tripping. What's happening? So, you guys know that song that, uh, like the song that people play when stupid stuff's happening, where it's like yeah, like so the I, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had a YouTube video that was up that had that as the background music, and right as Justin said, I'm gonna try to trip him. That video started playing, and so instantly <laughs> Justin goes, "I'm gonna trip him," and that means it's like <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Oh man. Yeah, but since he's up the stairs, I think I'd like to change it. I would like to push him backwards so that he falls down the stairs since I can shove. Okay. Yeah, so you kind of, actually at this point, you kind of just because you can only see his legs, you kind of push into his legs. So, uh, is this a strength okay. save or it, do you make yeah, it Yeah, let me, let me, I'm going to double check. I think it's yeah. uh, dexterity. Let me, just let me double check here. Uh, you can, you can, you said that. Oh, I'm reading the wrong thing. I'm sorry. No problem. Um, no, nah, you're up next. next. Uh, I, it's my intelligence. It's whatever I cast out of. Okay, so you, yeah, so make a spell attack then? Uh, no, you have to do an intelligence thing? It's spell casting ability is the... Re just read it to me. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It no, is fine. a strength saving throw. Yes. Strength saving throw versus your spell save. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yes. 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 All right. So he needs to roll a. I, th I think it's a 16. 17. 17. Uh, not gonna do it. 
Roll a 10. That's so a, he that's falls backwards? Uh, yeah, so you just kind of slam into his legs, and he falls, boom, like slams onto his side, uh, and starts to tumble back down the stairs, another, an additional five feet. Does do any damage? Is he prone? Uh, actually, no damage. Takes, uh, because he, he falls five, um, or ten feet, because he was almost all the way up to the top of the stairs, he falls ten feet down, he does take six bludgeoning damage. Okay, uh, Knock, you're up. Okay. Um, I will say you do hear this guy as he hits the ground. You see, like, blood like, kind of uh, spew out of his mouth, and he hisses something in this deep, like, almost flimmy sounding hiss <sighs> back up towards the opening. Um, you don't know what that means. But... Okay, I'm going to – I since I don't have a diamond to resurrect, I'm going to <clears> – <throat> I can get one, but I don't have one right now. I'm gonna run over to. Um, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna. Run, can I get? Can I get to the dragon creature? Yes. Yeah, because he's at the foot of the stairs. Uh, I'm gonna run up. Bonus action, spiritual weapon. And then I'm gonna melee him. Okay. Uh, he's prone, and you're so you have advantage on your melee attack. Okay. So spiritual weapon <clears throat> swung at twenty five. Hit. And then I swing. An eighteen. Eighteen. Also hits. Alright. So yeah, I just I just I just I come up over him, I just bring the um I imagine like so what happens is I go up, swing the cleaver down on him, and then like you see like off of my um my uh, holy symbol belt, like a uh, um, like sparks come out, like like out of forge, like when you hammer an anvil, mm -hmm. and it just splashes across his face. So, nice. um, oh, was this on the dragon or the guy that's prone? This the prone. is the yeah the half dragon. Did you roll to advantage? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <sighs> so, what's your total damage? Um, let me find out here. Not great. I rolled really low on all of them. Sixteen damage. Sixteen is enough. All right. As you slam into this guy with the impact of your spiritual weapon as well, the sparks kind of shower, and you can see like this, like these heat cracks, almost like rifts of like volcanic rifts, of just course over this guy's armor and scales and this like you can see a few flames kind of burst out of it down the length of its body before it goes limp and then you also feel a giant impact of the ship rock as it feels like the dragon above has fled all right with the i didn't know anything about the dragon realistically so right but you feel the boat rock and you're like holy crap Alright, I'm going to make my way back to Carmac. Okay. And I'm going to spend the next ten minutes fabricating a diamond. Nice. Yeah. I didn't know what I would use that spell for, but I just figured it out because I was stupid and forgot to buy a diamond. <laughs> you, it, you can use it to do that? I, I don't know anything so, about this. So, okay. I'll let you, you're the DM, so yeah, I'll let you decide. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm not fabricating. I'm using creation. It's even stronger. Okay. Uh, so creation, I can make stones or crystals. They last up to 12 hours. It takes a minute to make it. Um, so I can make, I can essentially make a diamond worth that price if I wanted to. Um, and then I would use another spell slot to cast Revivify. Your call. I don't know. Let me take it. You, you go ahead and start I'm Googling this. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thanks. I just wasn't sure. So. It says it can make vegetable matter, stones or crystals, precious metals, gems. It can make gems. And then adamantium or mithril. And I can make it it's, in the size of five cubic feet. It's technically not a crystal or stone. Is it a gem, though? It's a gem. It's a gem. Yeah. A gem. You can make oh, a gem. Oh, did it say gem? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. he said gem. Well, then, yeah. Here's How the caveat. 
It says on on D&D Beyond at the bottom of the spell, using any material created by this spell as another spell's material component causes that spell, spell to fail. Spell to fail. Okay. Well. Gosh. Ha, wait, what is what are, what are you trying to use? Resurrection? Yeah. You have, to, or or on that? Or yeah. you have to have a diamond that's worth 300 gold. You have to have Yeah, that. but what's the time frame? Oh. How quickly after death? Yeah. Like, do we have days? Do we have minutes? <sighs> Yeah, I think Revivify is a minute. Uh, raise one of them. It, the one that we had a spell scroll for that we used was longer than that. Yeah. Yeah, because we had uh, we had a resurrection. I'm gonna call out uh, Nakos. Does anybody have a diamond? Well, I don't even think it was a re resurrection. I think it was. It, it was. Oh, I thought it was resurrectional. Oh. Definitely, do it. we had a raised dead. Oh, a raised dead oh, was uh, two days. It. Yeah, we had raised dead and yeah. then the stick. Resurrection is basically which this no the more stick than was a century. Yeah, yeah. Resurrection, yeah. Well, I can wish him back. We can do it. I just don't know if that's what. I'm not there, but what about the tree of life that you started growing? Did it's that not anything? very big. Maybe in a few hundred years. At this point, you guys feel an impact from the side of the vessel. As you can see, this light erupt from the side. The wall that you're standing right next to rips open. You can see this blue flame circle that is about five feet by five feet rip open in the side of the ship and what you expect to see immediately is just sky outside but it's not it's some sort of cave or stone on the inside of this you can see in the very like very back like as it pushes back maybe 10 feet or so it begins to get blurry and foggy and hazy into this world that has opened up in the side of the ship you can see an enormous hulking figure, even bigger than the dragon that you just saw. But you can't quite make out what it is. You do oh, instead dear. see a woman standing just inside this rift that has opened up. Sapphire blue hair, and she has in her hand a bag. And she goes, save him! He dies! She dies! And she throws a bag towards you before the, before the rift seals back uh -huh. up. Not a crack in the wood. Right. Not a splinter. I grab the bag. What's in it? You see inside a diamond. Oh, snap. I put it in my pocket and I keep it forever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to run over and uh, Typical start casting. So I'm going to start casting this spell. <laughs> okay. It's like, cast. and then the cheerleader dies. <laughs> right. Yeah. Save the cult member, save the world. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. What do I have to do, Adam? Because I know you had specific rules for Revivify. Yeah. All right. Carmack, how many times have you died? <laughs> Twice. Full, I mean, fully dead. I I think only once, right? Yeah, no, twice. No, twice, because the first time I was in the cave when the... The Baylor? Um, the big Baylor, like, oh. insta-killed me. Yeah. yeah. And... Didn't it, um, didn't it ignore yeah, and I was uh, like dead, dead because reviving? yeah, the um, the the, the, whip the, one and the lightning uh, or the yeah. lightning whip and the flame sword, yeah. And but I was yeah, I yeah. was revived then um, by the paladin, and then this time, so twice. <laughs> where where was the second one? Or this is the second one? Oh, this is the second one. Okay, yeah. okay, we. All right, so um, I'm stealing straight from Matt Mercer on this because I love the way that he did it. Fine. All right, so you summon the spell. You cast the spell. The gateway exists, but you now have to attempt to draw Carmack back through it. Oh. So the way that we're going to do this is I need best two out of three skill checks to try okay. to draw him back. In what way could you try to draw Carmack back to you? If you want to try to... Juggle. 
convince him. Like, right, right. If he was, you know, if you're like, I'm going to start a cult and invite him to join. <laughs> then you could make, like, a persuasion check. I'll tell you right now, can the I... DC for these checks is going to be 12. Okay. Since he's already can died. I... Can, can I in some way... A, he's a fellow crafter. Mm -hmm. Can I in some way incite him, like, through crafting? Like... Because he's a crafter, I'm a crafter. Can I like make some you origami? Kind of okay. instill his spirit. Yeah, and, when you and, say you crafting, know. I'm so... thinking it's like <laughs> like macrame. Yeah, macrame. <laughs> yeah. See, as a side note, would he know that much about Minecraft? I don't think we so. talked. We talked about it though. Yeah, we talked a little bit. Oh, about okay. It, I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like I to was like crochet a sweater that says "Come here, Carmack." Yeah, because I said I was part of the woodworking guild. Or... So, yeah. what do you have that you could present? Me? Yeah, I feel like in this circumstance it requires material. Like, will I have to give it up? I don't know. Well, um... By the way, in-game, Nock is the one that has explained this to you. Like, we have to try to draw him back yeah. to the land of so, the So, I was like... I, go oh, are you going first? You know what you're doing? Go for it. If you know yeah. what you're doing, go. I was just going to go if you were figuring it out. Okay, I'm gonna pull out a um, a coin. Um, it's I have ten of them, but this one is uh, is a picture of um, it has myself on it, and it kind of has my family crest and like everything about it. But I made this, and it's kind of like a you mm. know if I have to give something Are you a up, counterfeiter. I'm gonna no, it, it's a dwar it's a dwarven thing. It just, he makes his own money. Yeah. No, it's yeah, not. Yeah. Mo it's not okay. money. It's it's not. It's just it's it's more like a metal, I guess, if you want to put it. In the not money way. yet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but um, it's got like some of my like war symbols on it and things about like my history, um, you know, family family line things like that. So yeah, it's carved into it. Okay. So I'm gonna pre I'm gonna present that. All right. So in that regards, make um, make like your artisan tools check. Okay. As you're kind of appealing to that that nature. How many ch how many rolls do I make? One. Twenty six. Twenty six. All right, and you as you place this down, you can feel it immediately begin to grow warm. As you can, that's, I'm not good at math. Hold on a second, that's not right. Is it more than twelve? Yeah, it is. It that, is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> you, you begin to feel it grow, just warm, as you can tell that it is creating a connection with his spirit. Yeah, I rolled a fifteen on the dice, yeah. but I, I I misadded my bonus, so it would have been twenty-two. All right. Taryn, did you have something? Yeah. I'm going to go over and place, like, I'm going to be behind, like, if he's laying on his back, I want yeah. to be, like, kneeled down, looking over his head, like, from above his head. Okay. And I'm going to place my forehead against his and try to telepathically connect and to his soul. Oh, okay. All right. And, and, draw, and draw it back if I can. Awesome. Jokes on him. I don't have a soul. No, Shocker. <laughs> I mean, it's split a couple ways. Or, I feel like. Or even just like his mind. Like just try and like convince him to his essence to stay, if I can. Can I do it? Yeah, absolutely. What kind of check is this? So this is gonna be. Uh, you don't have. You don't have proficiency in this. So it's just gonna be your intelligence okay. modifier. It's my intelligence modifier? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Barely, dude. I rolled a 9, but I have a plus 5 in intelligence. All right. Okay. Nice. All right. And so as you reach out, you kind of try to bridge this gap that spans dimensions, dimensional space at this point. But you try to reach out to his mind. You begin to hear him speaking to someone else that you can't hear or see but you can tell that he's having a conversation of some kind 
before he turns and he almost sees you. And at that point, you are both shunted back into consciousness and, and self-awareness as you guys draw back. Carmack once again in the land of the living. Lance, yes. if you will um, message me on Facebook, you can have a bit of an interchange with Safara and uh, maybe maybe glean some information. I I imagine this Taryn going, Carmack, come back. You can blame it all on me. Is my coin gone? <laughs> Your coin is not. Your coin is not gone. Yeah, it, okay. it I put I put it I put it back in the pouch. I, I actually pick it up very carefully and stare at it for a second and put it back in the pouch. And I help him up to his feet. <clears throat> you alright, lad? <coughs> okay. Yeah. I think so. We thought we lost you there. Like I'm having a bit of a weird day it seems. Yeah. I look down at my chest. Do I still have like a wound? Yeah, and you can see, yeah. even your scales themselves have kind of be began to heal, begun to heal, <laughs> have begun to heal, not begin. Uh, yeah. You can see them kind of like stitching back together. But you can feel very tender. Um, you can see just covered in blood. I mean, you're soaked in blood. Yeah. You might, like... you might want to sit down and let me wrap that up for you. It's like, yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. I, I kind of take a look around. The the assassin, is he... He's downstairs, but dead, right? Yes. Okay. Would I see him from where I'm at? Or is he, like, behind some stuff? So uh, no, he yeah, he's in a pile on the floor. You, he's easily seen by you. Okay. I'm like... Oh. Well, it's a good thing you got the guy. I don't... Do we know where he came from or anything? No, <coughs> but I cleaved his, I cleaved his, uh, I cleaved him right in half. So. Yeah, and you can see he's got like these like crack marks that kind of course through his body, like uh, fissures that have like this glowing red. It's it's slowly beginning to fade now, but uh, these embers beneath it. I'm like, well, you saved me twice today. Then I'm in your debt. I like the sound of that. Thing is disgusting, and I'm gonna kick the corpse. Okay. And I'm gonna, Duncan, come here, boy. Come here. And I'm gonna let Duncan eat it. And he begins start, to chomp into it. I'm gonna start wrapping up his, uh, his, you know, it's just like a simple military wrap around his chest. Okay. Yep. Wait, does anybody have speak with dead before? <laughs> hey, no, before, dude. Old, du old Duncan is chomping the crap out of this half dragon. He loves it. He went straight for the soft throat and the underbelly. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, I just Good make boy. note that it was like anything that you, you know, like take a quick search, make sure he doesn't eat anything that he might have on him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he won't eat the clothes. Does he have anything on him? Yeah, he does have a pouch. Um, yeah. He has a pouch that is full of gold. It's got 500 gold in it. He has another pouch oh, that's sorry. full of poisoners. It's a poisoner kit. He has that sword uh -huh. that is just a mundane sword that he coated in poison. And then the um, you do notice that he has this bizarre ring that looks almost like intangible around one of his fingers that looks almost like, like it's just a wisp of smoke that curls around his hand. Any, anything good? Uh, can I cut off the hand real quick while Duncan's eating? Yep. I'll use uh, that guy's sword. Make it make a dexterity a dexterity check for both of you. Opposed dexterity checks from you and Duncan. As, he, as soon as you try <laughs> to cut yourself. it off, he tries to snap it. That's the weirdest it's check I've ever I just ever seen someone make at D&D. Yep. Roll against just yourself. Of dexterity. Yep. Alright. Daddy got a seven. Duncan got probably better than that. A natural twenty. <laughs> All right. So yeah, as you as you chop the hand off and begin to pull it away, he immediately snaps. Boom! And you're, you're able to pull it free. And you're like, "Hey, knock it off." And you look back down. Ring finger and pinky finger are gone. And you hear gold. No. No, I'll just throw him the rest then. All right. It's magical. It'll come out later. It's not gonna be friendly for him though. 
Okay. And then I'll just take the rest of the stuff over to everyone. Does Duncan have any resistance while uh, said ring is ingested? <laughs> uh, it has nothing to do with that, actually. Can, can okay. wyverns attune to magic items? Because this could be interesting. While, while they're ingested? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He will be in close contact. Yeah, I guess you'll find out about an a short rest from now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you guys like and to do anything else? He turns into a giant green dragon. Okay. I'm gonna run up to the ship deck mm -hmm. and see what the damage is. Check out the damage to the ship. As for, like, I'm gonna put my hand on and let the ship tell me what's damaged, kind of thing. The ship gonna... is fine. The ship is completely intact. Okay. I'm going to ritual cast detect magic. Okay. I always forget the exact wording of detect magic, so I'm going to check it before I tell you. Okay. okay. Show you, like, auras. you sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you. If you sense magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in that area that bears magic. You learn okay. the school of magic, if any. So, amongst, like, everybody's personal possessions, you have, um, like, you see all of those things. I don't think anybody has anything secret, so you see everyone's possessions. And then you also see a ring, like an aura coming from the inside of Duncan's gut. Well, he ate, he ate something magical. Uh, nope. It'll might come be... out eventually. The That'll school have been lucky charms. The school is transmutation. <laughs> Great. Transmutation. Hmm. I forget what that is again. What is that? The school. Changing from one thing to another, I think. Is it like alchemy, kind of? Mm, yeah. Kind of. I feed him some X lax. Do you have X lax? Yeah, it's uh, totally made in the <laughs> sand. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know who could. It'd be, uh, he's not here anymore. Yeah, you can craft it. It's organic. Grimlick probably could. <laughs> Gr yeah, Gr oh, Grimlick, dude. Oh, Grimlick. Uh, I didn't think of his name there for a minute. I almost forgot uh, he's about long, it. <laughs> long gone. He was sacrificed. Oh. <laughs> he's protected. All right, what would you guys, what would you guys like to do? After a quick system check, ship appears to be fine. No evidence of the dragon... It, like anywhere in sight. How much, how much energy does the ship have? <clears throat> it is I down... pumped it. Well, I had just pumped it mm -hmm. during the beginning of our night watch. I'm or pretty I think, sure. I think Carmack did right before we yeah. went to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's still up to eight. Okay. Nice. I'm going to reactivate the, the alarm system. Okay, so it, it drops down to um, seven. And I'm going to raise the ballistas. It drops down to three, but all four ballistas pop up, like they raise up out of the top deck and turn. You have not activated these yet, so it is a bizarre sensation. In your mind, you can almost see from their perspective, each of them, okay. at, at once. You can kind of see what they can, can see. Um, can, I, can I tell, like, can I instruct them like can i say if like the alarm is breached that they take aim at it whatever breaches the alarm or do i have to guide it it does have to be guided you realize in this moment okay. that it, you have to intentionally request that they fire you can fire all four of them as your your action um okay and each of them do 2d10 force damage Ooh. okay but it is a dexterity-based attack, like an aim. You have to aim. Okay. And about how far away are we from the from where we remember the castle? Being? Um, I think at this point you guys are. I may be wrong, but I think you guys are getting close to the three quarters mark. Okay. But it is, again, it is basically two in the morning at this point. Yeah, I, I'm gonna pump, I'm gonna pump some psionics into it because I don't want to add. Far to do it after he just woke up or just like came back from the life. dead. Yeah. yeah. So I can pump two charges into. Is it a, a point per point on this? I can't remember. Um. As, yeah. Spell level is one point. Okay. Uh. So I'll just. I guess I'll pump in seven. Okay. Back to full. 
Okay. Is it draining faster now that the ballistas are up and ready, or is it just did draining come from the lifting? Yeah, it came from like the activation. Okay. It's not going to take a charge every time that you... Uh, well, I take that back. Each one doesn't take a charge every time you fire it. Okay. So as we're uh, going back to sleep, I'm imagining, is that what we're doing? Um, I will probably not want to fall back asleep right away. Just well, so well Nock is going to say, um, he goes... I can protect us this time if, uh, if you don't want me to. Like, I appreciate it, Nock, but uh, I think I need to get a bit of fresh air. For okay. Well, um, Nock then, like, puts his hand on the ground, and you see, like, a bright light emit from the ground underneath his hand, and he casts Guardian of Faith, and it just, it's in that area. So, for eight hours, it okay. sits there and guards the 30-foot aura around us. So if somebody steps in that that's not supposed to, they just take 20 damage, no save. Yeah, I'm going to go up to the deck just to get some fresh air. Alright. Ruminate a bit. Knock goes and mourns over Briggs, and then uh, that's about it. Oh, did Briggs die? Yeah. yeah. I, before I leave, Classic. I'm like... Before, yeah, before I leave, since, I mean, like, Briggs died, I'd be like, I, I go over and I kind of lay my hand on him, and I'm like, sorry you had to die. It's well, alright. He, uh, he's a good companion, but a bloody coward. <laughs> Aren't we all now and again? Like, well, I'm gonna go get some fresh air. I'll be back. Do I see Carmack walk out? Yeah. I mean, he's not moving very quickly at this point. He's kind of right. like leaning heavily on the rails and kind of staggering a bit. But... I'm gonna give him some space, but at some point, I'd like to walk over to him and talk to him. So, I'll let you decide on if anyone else wants to do something in the, that time. Okay. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, I got a blade stabbed in my chest, and I kind of like, unconsciously, you notice that I'm like, kind of feeling the tenderness of my chest without even like, focusing on it. It's just kind of like... Yeah. When, I, when he walked up to me, I was kind of rubbing it a little bit. Mm -hmm. it's like, but, you know, um, I guess just glad to be alive. This is the, uh, the second time we've almost crossed over. Yeah. Like about that, I, I saw Safar again. Or at least I think I saw Safar. Speaking of which, Lance, if you want to send me a message on Facebook, um, we yeah. can kind of play that out. And I'll just, I'll make, I'll make a, an, um, towards Tara and I say, it's like, you know, if it wasn't for the whole dying thing, it would have been nice to kind of, uh, spend a little bit more time talking with him. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Probably it's somewhat comforting to know that the past two times you've seen her, so if it were to happen a third time, it seems that you'll be going wherever she is. Yeah, maybe the third time's a charm, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been, I've been trying to make sense of some of all of this, and uh, it's... It's not real clear yet to me. I've got a lot to think about. These creatures, the dragons, whatever that thing was, 
They were looking for you specifically. They mentioned something about the red one. Does that sound familiar to you? The red one? When you say the red one, um, that's actually the, well, I mean, that's the color, dragonflight color that uh, Safara is, actually. But I can't remember if there was a, another red one that. Because I remember there was. What was it? Was it Safara that like warned me about the green? Yeah. Okay. It, it was either Safara or that woman with blue hair that you've seen. I yeah. Can't, I can't recall. It may have been her okay. actually. Yeah. My... I lost you for a minute. I didn't catch that. <laughs> I don't know if it was just me or not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, it. You're real modulated. Well, the only rap... Now you froze. Yeah, no, I... I think you're back. Let's see if I come back here. Am I back? Yeah, 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 you're, yeah, back. yeah you're back. You're back. You're back. You're back. All right. so, so, yeah, I'm like... Or it could have been... It's like, well... It's like, the only red that I know is Safari herself. She's a dragonborn. This this green is uh, something else. He what he wasn't. He it seemed he was more uh, more dragon than dragon. When I talked to the green dragon, it seemed like he was fetching the Carmack for the red one. Correct, because he, he said, "Bring me the dragonborn. The red one needs him, or something like that." Are you asking me? Yeah. Uh, no, he... You said, what do you want? And he said, only yeah. the dragonborn, the servant of servant the red. Servant of the red one, yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, he servant just said the red. The red, red. The red yeah. Oh, so, uh, okay, okay. Sorry, he called you servant of the red. So, I don't know. We're all slaves to a woman, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's uh, It seems like uh, anymore, I spend most of my waking hours researching, trying to figure out how to connect to other planes, open portals. Um, Not to mention, it seems my Pact Blade has been changing on me, too. And I, like, summon it for a moment. Um, and, like, the... I don't know if I've shown you this before, but, like, the, and, like, there's a symbol. And, yeah, the... So it's, like, basically talons. Mm -hmm. um, there's you five can, talons. And... I don't know if you've noticed this before, but at this point, you can see that they are different colors. Faintly, but the colors are becoming more prominent. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that each one had just a slight color difference. Um, yeah, it's distinct now. You can tell that they are different colors. I like, uh, I was warned about a green one. I would assume that this is him, or uh, I hope it is, because if this is the one that was after me, then. Maybe I can rest a little easier. Although I don't yeah. know what it means for me. You know, it's strange that that dragon could have taken us out with one more hit. But once that one thing died, it peaced out. Does Naki know anything about the... He doesn't know anything about the dragon still. <laughs> he went to bed. Um. <laughs> Hey, while I'm having this conversation with Carmack, can I see if the Beholder eyes are moving or doing anything on his crown? Uh, yeah. With your passive perception, you can tell... Well, I, I would intentionally be looking, because I'm okay. still very curious about this. Yeah, go ahead and make a, make a roll then. But... Also, Justin, you killed the assassin? I thought he escaped. 
No, he died. I don't know. Hey, how he died. I didn't. I didn't. I, I chopped didn't him. him. I no, chopped him. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, he I tripped, tripped him, him as he was going up the stairs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to without him. But... And not gave me a one two. Uh, sixteen. Wait, With... is this? In... What, what? What am I making? Perception. Uh, per yeah, perception. Oh yeah, sixteen. I With a 16, it doesn't look like they're moving. Like, it's it's not, like, alive anymore? They just don't appear to be moving. Uh, okay. Because it's fleshy looking, right? Um, kind of like, like, a chitinous, like a crab. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> I'm guessing you're not going to sleep much tonight. Yeah. He's already asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna hand him back his luck plate. If you want to travel between planes so much, maybe this can help. Also, I was gonna use it to save your life. I don't know if that's something you would want me to do, but I felt like it was either save your life or you never get to make a wish. See what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, like, it's my wish. Either way, you don't make the wit, but once you're dead, once you're not. Yeah. Well, I appreciate trying, anyways. And then I'm gonna try and make a wish since I'm attuned to it before I hand it to him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is why you totally try. It just doesn't work. <laughs> just wish kidding. time back 24 hours when the wish come back? <laughs> get right, get right, get right. Every nope, time. it's gone. <laughs> hey, just a side note. My guardian of faith is, it looks like Briggs. Like a big golden version of Briggs. Aw, he's touching. I mean, he, he didn't live very long. He, bar he barely got, you know, story time. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is it What is it when, like, kill a character off so early in a movie and you're just kind of like, eh. It's kind of Nobody like cared about him. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like that. I think that's only if if you had like a friend with you, like nobody would care. But it's a dog, and that's upsetting. Yeah, that's, that's to true. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so where are we People going? Get this you guys hey, are Brogs, flying towards the castle. castle. Brogs has killed like eight dogs already in the Wait, short time we've played. We've been to multiple castles. <laughs> yeah. Are we going back to <laughs> Not... our castle? Yeah. No, the... we're going to the flying castle. Yeah, the flying Fly castle. castle. Okay. Nah. I'm gonna wake you up. It's your turn to take the shift. <laughs> Wait, wake up. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Um, Knock. Do I have to go upstairs? Yeah. <laughs> You're keeping watch. But it's. But we're flying. Tell me sleeping news. And I did a yeah, thing. Usually, usually the things that fly are more dangerous than the things that walk. You know, like green giant dragon. I don't, I don't know about that. I fly and you don't, so. All right. Yeah. And then, and I so not gets up time. out of, he gets out of the <laughs> hammock, and he gets up to the top deck, and he like instantly starts crawling across the ship deck, like on all fours. <laughs> Excellent. Like, yeah. Good. And and then he goes and holds on to the mast, like just kind of like sits there and holds it. Wait, are you tired or something? Me? Don't yeah. you have the guardian thing on the top of the ship? No, I put it in the room so nobody oh, would attack rooms. Carmack if he tried to go back to sleep. <laughs> Got it. Um. Uh, yeah, he's just sitting there holding the uh, holding on to the mast. He's just scared. He doesn't like flying. This is not his thing. He likes being underground, for sure. Um. Oh. All right. So you you make your way up to so, the wait, ship. So does that mean knock knock and Carmack don't get their hit points back? I didn't really lose any. Yeah, and it just depends on how long it, you guys rest at this point. But the rest of your I'll journey is going to go without issue it takes you more than a day so by the time oh, you get okay. there you guys are gonna be fine okay, cool, um cool, cool. all right 
and we'll kind of fast forward at this point. Rogs, you are at the um, make. Hmm. Make. Oh gosh. Let's call it a perception check. Also, Adam. Yes. Speaking of perception and check, well, over those next couple days, I will natural be twenty poop for the ring. You will do what's up? I will be checking Duncan's poop for the ring. <laughs> okay. Every every pile, dude. You're digging through every pile. At this point, so roll. Wrap over the top of his cat box. <laughs> yeah. And you know it's gross because you let him eat a person, so you know. Oh. That, that's, that's a, a thing. Dose. That's a whole thing. Yeah, he's got. Uh, he's kind of building a oh, tolerance. Oh, dragon person. Yeah. It wasn't um, really a person, right? It was like a dragon. You no, know, it's it's totally no, a person. You, I think I just lost my camera. Dragon man. No, we see you. Yeah, you there. We see you. Okay. No, we, we see you. Yeah. Is it die? Is my phone die? Okay, no, I'm still good. It, so, it like um, had the power button on it. I was like, no. <laughs> not uh, like gonna. Right. It was like a reptile thing. Um, so, Carmack would know this. The creature was technically a half dragon. So, oh. think of it as like the orc version of a half orc. I mean, okay. totally, totally a sentient humanoid, just way more feral, closer. Closer to the dragon side of its ancestry than the whatever else it happened to be. I don't like a reptile. I'm okay with my decision. I mean, hey, I'm not, I'm not shaming you. I mean, I want, I kind of want you to shame yourself a little bit, but you, you <laughs> no, do, no, no. you do whatever. I, I stand by my decision. Yeah, I stand to, by my decision. you just fed a guy to your dog, but whatever, you know, whatever. That's fine. You it's do. Nock is actually gonna build a casket, a, a casket for Briggs. I feel good about Briggs. It. <laughs> okay. And he's gonna, he's also gonna make a, um, a medal for him as well. All right. Um, and then he's gonna drop him off the side of the ship. I'll never let go, <laughs> Titanic. <laughs> Get off got, my door. He just got jacked. <laughs> uh, okay, so first thing, uh, Taryn, go ahead and make an investigation check for me. You've I have got, a natural. You got 20. one shot to find a misty ring in a pile of poop. Nice. Oh, good thing I, I've got I all these luck. Yeah, you're good. Can you use more than one luck on a single thing? I think no. you can spend them as many. Huh? I don't think so. I think you can I don't only. Know how it works. I think the only time that you can roll more than once is with that elven feat, that elven accuracy thing. Okay. Well, my first one was a natural one, so I'm going to roll again. That's fair. You can use one. Okay. Oh, not bad. That's a 16 plus what? Investigation? Yeah. 16 plus... Five. 21. Oh! <laughs> All right, so you're, like, digging through your 12th pile of poop. You're like, how are you pooping so much from this? And it's, like, rancid because this is, like, a poison dragon, right? It's just, like, the worst. You're like, ah, blah, blah. And you're about to kind of, like, shovel this off to the side when you feel the impact of a solid, which is, you know... Has happened before. You found bones and teeth and scales and like all kinds uh, of disgusting crap here. But this, as you kind of begin to move it, you can feel that it has impact. And as you you clean it off, it is in fact a <laughs> ring that looks like it's made out of cloud almost. Except the cloud itself is much darker. And you notice immediately okay. a bizarre occurrence. As you move the ring through space it's almost like you can see through it and it distorts as wow. it moves so it like ripples it's a it's a bizarre thing unlike That's anything cool. you've ever seen i'ma put that bitch on and okay. it also smells great. it's a cursed item um so you can't take dollar, it off uh, and it. your hit points are reduced to 10 <laughs> i got it I'm just, Let's I'm, fight, I'm bro. just, I'm just screwing with you, dude. I'm screwing with you. I'm screwing with you. Um, do you have, do you have an attunement spot? Uh, I, I do. 
Yeah, okay. Because I don't have my staff is striking with me All right, right now. So do you take the time to attune to this? Yeah. Okay. You should, you should really let people identify things before you put them on. Yep. Don't worry about that. This yeah. is a custom. This is a custom magic item. Um, it's, Just put on the party hat. It's a ring. I slide it over my penis. All right. Jeez Louise. (laughs) It's probably safe. (laughs) Oh, Lord. Good grief. It's a a ring of five Sorry, sorry, Twitch. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, we've got the adults only warning at the top of this. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so as you attune to this, you realize that this is a ring of etherealness. And that's how this guy got on board. That's how he passed by all of your alarms. That's how he walked past you. He was not on that plane. With this ring, you can shunt yourself into the ethereal plane for one minute. That's and awesome. And it is. It only works once a week. Ooh, once a Justin, week? I will text you later about something awesome. I'm just going to throw it out there. Okay. So custom item, write that down, ring of ethereal. For one minute? For one minute. For one minute. Once a once week. week. You get you can move to ethereal plane once a week for one minute. Mm-hmm. That's high. Is it an action to use? It is. Yes, it's an action to use. <clears throat> Check the spell. It works like the seventh level spell. Otherwise. Okay. It's ethereal. Start with an E or an A. E T H E R. Okay. Yeah. It is a ring of greater spelling. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, you're not getting that from me. <laughs> I don't know. You get that from some other DM, dude. I, I'm not giving that out. Um, okay. okay. I need to sell the staff of striking. Natural right 20. Oh. Yes. Wow. Let's go, Vrog, dude. So the Let's reason go, I had difficulty I explaining saw. this is you are not conscious when this takes effect. Oh. One night while you're sleeping, you're dreaming of wild little goblin things, you know, this crazy dream. All of a sudden, something <laughs> catches your eye in the middle of your dream. You stop for a moment. You know you're being watched. It's a dream. That kind of happens. Like, you get that creeping feeling. But you begin to look around, and you begin to search, and... Over a series of a few minutes, eventually you you realize, almost like an like one of those old I Spy things from like middle school, where like you stare at the picture a certain way, and all of a sudden you can see the picture behind it. By the way, yeah. I could never see those pictures, but you understand the concept, right? Uh-huh. As you're looking in your dream, you kind of let your focus drift, and you can see an eye watching you. This goes on for... The rest of the dream, you're unable to interact with it or anything like that. At at some point during the dream, I feel like Rogs would immediately bend over at some point and show him his rear. Sure, just moon fine, him. absolutely. <laughs> just um, moon it. <laughs> this happens a couple of like over the course of a couple of nights, uh-huh. and then you can swear at one point you walk past um, this glass orb in a case, and you could swear you could see that same eye. Peering through that, but when you go back to check it again, it's gone. The orb's gone. No, the the eye. It's just it's a it's a crystal ball, but you are unable to see anything except for like the distorted world around it. Am I able to take that ball? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a it's an implement for people to use. It helps. It assists with scrying. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Okay. Just cause. I mean, nobody lets you steal it. It's property of the college, but. You're welcome to use it on paper. Uh, <laughs> so, just so I feel like I'm not stealing, uh, I will take it, and I will leave a potion, a potion of healing in its place. You know, uh, you know at this point, um, because you've experienced this, you, you've kind of spent some time here at the school. Mm-hmm. You know that the items that they have like this are kind of like the carts at like, uh, what is it? Uh, burlington coat factory that like you try to take the you try to take the cart out it like locks up at the door uh, it's kind of one of those things like yeah they magic protects their stuff from being stolen and they have little ink tags on everything yeah <laughs> and then it pops and you're like covered in blue it's happened to you like 12 times <laughs> <laughs> oh, i blew myself yep. dang it all right well i take it and put it in my room 
and I kind of keep it there for the time being, see if anything else happens. Um, but also, I would like to look around the castle to find anything, or I, I just assume it's a castle, but um, to uh, find anything that's of like great power, like magical power. Okay. And um, if I do find something, I'm going to talk to Phil and try to weasel my way around trying to figure out how to break that spell so I can take it with me. Okay. Um, he, exp- I mean, it, yeah, you, you don't have to play this out. There are several yeah. really powerful magic items and um, just things of great power within the, the school itself. And he tells you, as a matter of fact, unless you have some secret power that he is, couldn't comprehend you have no chance of breaking this. These are wards that have been established over centuries. I know a person. Most, <laughs> by some of the most powerful mages of their day. Uh, kind of like Hogwarts. Like, each professor kind of, you know, continues to add to it. Yeah, so he's like, you don't stand a chance, kid. <laughs> okay. Still, I want to look for these. <laughs> um, so I will say, though, that um, as you begin to kind of see this you don't see the eye any longer, but go ahead and make a arcana check. I'm sorry, a history history of magic check. How did how do we do that? What is it that Becky gives you advantage on? Uh, arcana. Arcana. Okay, yeah. In regards yeah. to magical history, right? Yeah, I get advantage. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So go ahead and make an arcana check. Then. As she's kind of talked to you about this too, she says that she can, but she she does tell you that when she sees it, um. It, it looks different to her, but in a way that she can't describe with words. Well, to be fair, I don't have Becky with me right now, right? You were right. Where is she? Okay. Did you leave she her at the is, castle? No, she is with the. Um, You're right. The okay. lady that's so gonna just, make it a uh, storing. Yep. So oh, if so, basically, you're trying to research this like magic eye that watches by yourself. So just roll a single. I re-rolled because I did roll with advantage. So. Um, I rolled a 15 uh, plus 6, so 21. With a 21, eventually you kind of beat your head against the wall. Uh, You're not finding anything specific. um, And so you kind of begin to ask around a few people. And eventually you come up to a person who kind of uh, points you to this like certain area of high-powered magic because people are not supposed to be able to scry into the castle so they're like oh no okay it had to be like this some elite people whatever so like oh i is uh it's you know that's an important iconography so uh go and kind of search these icons and you begin to like look through this whatever and you eventually you come to an inscription that matches the eye that you have seen exactly um and you can tell because it's almost like prismatic and the outline of it and so upon finding this you begin to read an excerpt and it just is it's kind of brief but it refers to the one who watches and tends the weave that sounds like something i'm supposed to Help. Sounds like something I know. Oh, Lunshaw. <laughs> I was gonna say, Big Mike Diesel. Yo, like Big the... Money, what up, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you missed my really <laughs> offensive joke of the night. Uh, I think he's here. No, 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 I'm here. here. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so, so you begin to read this, and there's not much of it, but uh-huh. you can. The one, the one who tends to be. Boy, dude. So, it. It refers to a time long ago uh, referred to as the Spell Plague and about how magic itself was changed forever as a result. And and this weave was created, this weave of magic, this conduit of magic, this way to control it so that it doesn't go out of, I mean, completely out of control again and recreate that disaster. But as such, the weave must be tended and there's n- nothing known about this keeper, this one who tends the weave, other than they have access to unbridled magic. 
So I need to find this person. Um, do I know the location of this? Uh, yeah. Did someone show me this, I think? Um, no. The, the weave itself is described as an idea. That there is no physical location. Um, and there's no mention of anybody ever seeing the weave. And in fact, there's no source for the information in this book. It just describes it as if it's a fact that has never been proven. I want to go to the, like the, uh, if I can, I want to go to like the double door of this place. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to speak his name's, to him about oddly it. Oddly enough, his name's Umble Or. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just enough to avoid a copyright strike. Yeah. It's actually Gandalf. <laughs> so, oh, there it is. Yeah. That's what happens when you remove the D and D from his name. Yeah. <laughs> no. So the that that, was awesome lance actually. The uh, the headmaster of this school is um, Minrith Yandon. He is an Eldrin who is approximately eight hundred years old. Uh, he'd be an ally, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you say that one more time for me? Yep. Minrith. M I N R E F. Last name Yandon. Headmaster. Head I, I just wanted to make note of that. Mm hmm. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I assume he knows me, right? Yes. Okay. Um, Menrath. Yes. Excuse me. Uh, How can I help you, rogues? I've had these weird dreams of like of an eye looking at me and watching me. From within um, the castle. Yes. And I saw it in this this orb as well. Um. I was wondering, do you uh? <laughs> know what the weave is? Yes, uh, my child. The weave is the source from which mages of all type pull magical energy into the realm. Well, I, I came uh, across a discovery. Um, how long do you th how long do you say think it was when I came across this? Honestly, you can't recall. You remember just knowing it at some point while you were in the forest. While, uh, while I was hiding away in the forest, I came across the discovery of some destructive power that's going to tear between our reality and a different one. Um, how c could these things be related? I'm not so sure on this cataclysmic magic thing with the weave. I've, this is the first I've heard of it. Are you referring to the spell plague of long ago? Yes. Per my research, the weave itself was created to avoid such a disaster from happening ever again. The Magic itself is both beautiful and dangerous, like a flooded river. And the weave acts as a conduit, um, sort of a spillway, a way to draw upon magic itself without being overtaken by it. Could, do you think this weave could be an object, or... Is it like a body vessel? I suppose that would depend on your perspective. To mortals like you and I, the weave is. Well, I'm not. I'm not mortal. I'm. I'm still blog. No blog. Right. Yes. Yeah. Mortals I'm... like myself then yeah i'm special yeah the 
the weave is more of a concept, uh, an abstract idea, I suppose, to greater beings. It could seem as a construct, as an object. I'm afraid I can't tell you more on the on the subject. Do you know any um, elders that would know of, of who this guardian is that protects it? Time may speak to them. I'm sorry? For this... A guardian? Yeah, the said that a guardian is supposed to be protecting this weave to make what? sure it doesn't go out of balance. Where have you seen this? I've never heard tale of a guardian. Uh, I feel like I'm not supposed to tell the truth on this. Uh, I just, through my readings, I've been to many places over these past few months. Uh, make a deception check. <laughs> Uh, 13. Uh, he looks at you suspiciously, but allows you to continue. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm really honestly trying to help here. I don't want to see our world jump into chaos. And, uh, with this discovery of everything going to crap, I really don't want my friends getting hurt. That is why I'm here alone. Actually, they wanted to do other things, but I found this more pressing. Well, Rogs, I am not exactly sure where to guide you in this journey. Um, if you would allow me time, I can try to reach out to some others that I know. Perhaps they know more than I do on this subject. I will contact That's... you if I discover anything. Okay. Uh, is there anything you could possibly uh, give to me or aid me on my journey? What do you have in mind? Uh, just, I really, I've ran in some pretty nasty things of late in my party trying to save the world and all. Um, so, I mean, something that can hurt someone pretty badly if I need to, I guess. Uh, Vrogs, I, I'm afraid that we are but a humble school, and although our magic is powerful, it mostly resides within these walls and serves a purpose of education. Yeah, I understand. This has nothing to do with the fact that I'm a goblin, though. You do trust me, right? Absolutely. I believe okay. you believe what you say. I want to check an insight on that. Okay. That's uh, an eight. Elves are hard to read, and he's like one of the weird kind. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Eldrin, like the High Elf, you know, they're just, they're bizarre. His eyes are weird. He, he's hard to read. He seems like not to be mean, but he... Well, with High Elves, would I know if they're, like... Because I know some High Elves are kind of, like, snooty. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're not catching that vibe from him, in particular. Okay. Yeah. More like he's alien. Okay. <laughs> Um, Maybe. all right then. I don't know. I'm good. Uh, yeah, if, okay, so what I'm going to do for the rest of the time here, I'm going to go hang out with Phil, make some extra money, like I said, mm -hmm. and then, um, get Becky. Okay. And then I'm going to try to get a reliable, uh, bodyguards that aren't going to ship me in the back when I sleep and okay. escort me back to... Uh, red, red, is it Red Panky? That's silver, the castle, silver, right? silver, 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 yeah, yeah silver Panky. I'm gonna have them escort me back. Okay, are you gonna, you're gonna try to do like, like magical transportation, or are you gonna try to do, uh, or are you no, just gonna take the road? I'm not gonna bug Phil because I feel like he's got more pressing matters dealing with that other guy. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> all right, uh, and so you do this, it is gonna take you. 
I believe, several days, maybe upwards of a week. Yeah, I think that's what it was yeah. last time when we yeah, left. so a little over and, a week because you're actually going to be north of Brost. And on the way back, I want to stop by the uh, Silver Spire or whatever to check on the goblins there. Where? Is it Silver Spire? Isn't that where, like, we went through there to go to Zaz, right? That's oh, where the dwarves drop me in. The... Star Spire. Star Spire. Star Spire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you swing by. Yeah. You swing. You swing by that area and the. Yeah. Uh... But I, I don't want to go in the city. I'm just checking right, on the to goblins. To the goblins. There. Now, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong. Did you send them to go and try to make contact with? Uh no, I asked them to send out their feelers, but we sent out an adventure group to see where Big Ben was. But the goblin people, we just had them send out like feelers or whatever. Okay. To that out. Okay. All right. So yeah, so you you begin to make your way back up that way. Everyone else, as you guys are approaching the castle, um, you guys are all up on deck at this point. It's, you know about noon or so you're approaching the castle uh the storm clouds have dissipated um you do see some like carrion birds um some of them quite large that are like kind of collected around the tower that is on the i'm gonna say the left at this point because the castle kind of rotates Um, but it was the smaller of the it, it was the the tower with the uh the all the people that Brog's killed who did? Oh, all the people. I yeah. Got it. <laughs> uh, okay, so. As, as we're on approach, um, I'm going to um, cast a spell. Wait, wait, wait. This one. Sorry, I'm like looking in a mirror. So it's this tower. You can see like several like vultures and different monstrous type vultures and stuff are all kind of gathered around this structure. I'm going to cast a spell. Um, yep. on uh, three of us. Myself, Carmack, and Alton. Um, I'm going to give us... I'm going to cast aid at fourth level. We all get 15 extra HP. Ooh, nice, dude. Still would have gone unconscious from that first hit that I got stabbed in the chest with. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like... It's, it, it's not temporary HP. It's just HP. For eight hours, so that mine. Nice, nice. Did you All say right. 15? Yeah. Nice. But 15, yeah. but as you guys are kind of on the deck and you're just about to kind of make your way up to the the landing pad here, or are you going to go straight towards the um like the main castle structure? I think we should dock where we got the ship from. Right. Yeah, okay. So close to that. So, like, back around by the main castle structure up towards the top. Yeah. Yeah, Okay. So you kind of bypass all, like, the carrion creatures and everything like that and make your way back over to that. And just as you're getting ready to pull up towards it, you see, um, like, this odd shadowy mist kind of formulate on the main deck, uh, about the size of a person, a little bit bigger, though. It takes a moment before you see the mist kind of clear a bit, and you can see Eric. Mostly. Hey, what's up, boy? Standing, hey. standing in front of you, but they're like these odd, shadowy wisps that kind of drift off of his form, and as he moves around a little bit, it's almost like blurred, before, and it catches up to him. So it's like, uh, have you ever seen Chronicles of Riddick? You know, like the bad guy and how he kind of moves. And oh it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that. Mm-hmm. Movie. So he, it's kind of like that for a moment. Um, and then that that continues on. But he is standing on the deck in front of you. Hi, uh, dude. New dig. What's good, boy? Hey, what's up, fellas? So, <laughs> actually, I can't remember. <laughs> did did Eric officially duke me before we ended the session last time? Duke you? No. Yeah. I made it up. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, no. Eric wasn't with you at all. You guys just kind of did like that. I we were going to nah. okay, we were going to talk nah. about that. Okay. You, uh, so you were never when, officially duped. When I, when I see <laughs> Eric, I'm like, "Hey, your timing is perfect." So, 
Uh, we did this thing. I'm not sure if it's official or not, though. Um, so it's I'm not. trying to be, I'm trying to be. Shut up. I'm trying to be a <laughs> dude, and uh, I'm hoping that uh, maybe you can help me. You know, because if I'm a duke, then I'll be irresistible to the Duchess. At, which I kind of already am, but uh, you know. At this point, did they see the side of the ship, the name? No. No. no nobody <laughs> had. No. Except maybe Eric, because he's so, looking at us. Here's the thing. We was thinking, and somebody said that, uh, I don't know, I feel like it was Carmack, maybe, uh, who said that it should be a king, should be part of the ceremony. So we did something that made me like an honorary duke. But I'm wondering if you could make me a, a, like a mm -hmm. duke duke. Like a mm -hmm. major dukey. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Oh, yeah. You want me to bestow upon you... Um, a noble title. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can attempt to sway the Duchess. Listen, I would never lie to you. This is 100% about doing You have lied to me. No, I never have. This is all about doing the Duchess okay. in the sack. That's it. No, so, I will not do it. No, but, uh, well, there's more than that. I was being hyperbolic. Uh, <laughs> there's more than that. Of course, I like to look out for the good of the people. And uh, things like that, you know. You made the, you made a vow. Remember, remember your vow. Yeah, I made a vow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What was your vow? What was my your vow, vow was all about, you know, taking care of the good people, like uh, the the little people, the son to me, and about you know making to uphold a difference the in the world, principle. upholding the principles, what he said. And so there's more than that. It's just that a cool added side benefit would be that the uh, the Duchess would fall in love with me. Knock is standing behind them Wonderful. going like this. So, I'm hoping that since you and me is chumps and you're the king, that you'd be able to duke me and then, uh... I can, I can. Yes. But I won't. What? Why? You just told me you just, all you want is to get her on the side. No, 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 no. You missed the part where I said I'm uh, concerned about the little people and where I want to make a yeah, difference in the world. Yeah, and you're, world you're, all, that. you're altruistic and you, you love I'm all altruistic. The I'm not yeah. doing it. I think, I, I think you should do it, Eric. Okay. Not, no, it, Justin thinks it. Okay, so then let me rephrase. <laughs> What could I do? What could, what would convince you to do it for me? All right, me do all right, what all right. Listen do? to this. Okay, let me ask you. Oh, this. There's a test. Yeah. I like this. I like this. I like this. First of all, I want to ask you what what is your plan to with the information that we have on uh, Daddy Dearest? Oh, Daddy! Oh, he's gonna die. Yeah, he's gonna die. Okay. For the good of the world, obviously. Not for revenge, but because he's a blight so, on humanity. Right. So your plan is to use the, the, the information Dukiness. that we're... The, the, stop. the information system we've come up with. Basically our newspaper, correct? Yeah, yeah. To bury him, strip all of his lands, titles, yeah. money... Those kind of things. Yeah, why not? Well, that is certainly one way to do it. Yeah, of course it is. Now, let me ask you another question. Yeah, ask away. Are there any other avenues that we could per potentially pursue with uh, with your father? You mean that? I'm not. I don't. I don't mind if he if he is. Destroyed. I don't. So. However, however, it's there's not a lot of there's not a lot to gain in that. There's a lot to gain. The world is safer. True. True. All I'm saying is a lot. People will pay a lot, do a lot, keep himself from being destroyed. If you want okay. to destroy him, destroy him. So Alton is immediately super offended by this. Ooh. Because to me, he is the greatest like embodiment of evil. So for you to say, like I'm not perfect, but for you to say you want to try to make a deal with this dude, 
It makes me really mad. Sure. So let no, me but... get this straight. What you're saying to me is that he is a is is a, he's a dirtbag. He's a horrible human, and he's he's killing people. He's manipulating people. He's he's taking kids away from their parents. He's he's breeding children to to fight for him. And what you're saying is you want to make a deal with him. That's what you're saying, right? No, that's no, that's not what it's. Like. That's what it sounds like. So please enlighten me, please, King. Explain to me what you mean. I'm trying to show you something, and I think you just proved my point. What are you trying to show me? You're not ready to be a dude. How? Because I'm trying to make the world a better place. I thought you said that's the reason you weren't going to do me. All I did, I didn't. I did not suggest anything. Or maybe I did. I guess suggest. There hey. are other ideas. There are other, nope. no. No. Listen. Listen. I, didn't, I said. I said picked. you absolutely. No. I said you could absolutely kill him. You could bury him. You could destroy him. That's fine. I am absolutely okay with that. I just merely presented another idea, and you lost your cool. No, 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 no. I told you what was best. I told you what was right. It's not right to to use and manipulate someone who needs to die. And I think we can both agree he needs to die. I've got the insight enough. To, to to know that <laughs> so then why have you not written his name on the paper i didn't do it because i don't know what the, the what the the alternative is i don't know who i have to kill it could be somebody innocent it could be one of you and it's not worth it and a good ruler a good duke knows when it's worth it he needs to die you're absolutely right but he doesn't need to die at all costs were the other two uh did the other two people need to die no, they didn't. But I didn't need to die either, so I had to make a choice. What's what's your point? Hey, Adam, I cut out for a second. I don't know if that messed up the Twitch. Yeah, I'm fixing it. <laughs> I'm good, sorry. Man. No, we're good. We're good. Keep going. Keep yelling at each other. It's great. I don't. I, I failed to see. How my reasoning is not right here. He it, I never life. said that. That's fine. They kill him. Then why won't you duke me? Daddy needs a dookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't. Man. I don't trust your motive. You just told me it was to get in the sack with the okay. Duchess. I I swear really loudly and stop off. You, you're also very young, lad. Uh, you've got time. You've got time. I, I don't hear you because I'm. Hey, I'm, I'm shut up, up, new guy. <laughs> shut up, new guy. <laughs> you let this happen. All right. I'm just trying to help. I mean. <laughs> yeah, I, I storm off. He knock feels wrongs just pointing and laughing at him from that distance away. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, 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 bro isn't here, Eric. I'm in Zaz, bud. No, I know. I'm just talking to Joshua. There, right, what up, man? Zaz. Yo, when you when you gonna when you gonna go talk to Shaw, man? He, <laughs> he doesn't know anything about that. It's gonna be a conversation for like a post game conversation. But I, I, here's the thing: don't spoil it for him. I want him to figure it out in game. Okay. Okay. But I'm glad you guys picked up on it immediately. Yeah, oh, I went 100%. 100%. I was What's excited. That? What did I miss? You'll you find guys, out. You missed you years, years, my man. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, miss, you, miss a, you miss years legitimately. Who drank all my coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <Brock's laughs> did. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, uh, all right, here, okay. real quick. While, while Alton is away, I would like to ask all of you. Do you think okay. Alton should be Duke? Should I give him a Duke title? That be for sure. Definitely, yeah. definitely not. Definitely not. Tell me. All right. You don't even uh, know me. 
You, I, Eric, I know enough. I know I, enough. I look, <laughs> you, I look at Eric and I'm like, eh, 50 50. I don't know. Eric, you so get you have to a vote yes, for Bronx. a no, and a 50 50. <laughs> it's perfect. A yes, a no, and a 50 50. It's perfect. Eric gets to vote for Brog since he's not there. <laughs> he knows him the best. <laughs> well, Eric, I'm glad you're here. Well, I'm not, strictly speaking, I'm not actually here, but... Yeah, and you, again, you notice that that same kind of, like, visual has happened the entire time. Every time he moves, it's kind of... I want to touch him. Can I touch does him? Does Nock know yeah, anything you can about feel it? it. But again, it feels bizarre. Um, like Jello. There's a lag. <laughs> is there like a? Is like? It's is almost there like... like a lag, dude. It, it, yeah, exactly. It's almost like it like he's rubber, lagging. He it. keeps rubber banding. Yeah. <laughs> like, but does Nock know anything about the echoes? Is is there like you know we're in the kingdom that the the new king is like, you know, um, got powers. Ah, uh, gosh, make. Uh, I'm gonna call it just a history check for you. Right. You may have encountered an echo knight before. How did you learn to do this, Eric? Oh. Uh, I didn't, actually. You haven't. Uh, How are you of, doing it? With the yeah. help of Anderot. Anderot? Who is so, Anderot? He, he and I have uh, really more him than me, but um, I've had, I have him working on a spell... Um, Working title. I'm not exactly sure what he was going to call it. Andorot's. Andorot is the core concubine. Andorot's. By the way. Trans, I don't know. Something. He's calling it something uh, with his name in it, obviously. Um, but it, it effectively allows me to be. Use my echo in a way where I can be somewhere in two places. Andorot's phase cast. Not not exactly, but yes, uh, like a phase shift kind of thing. Um, but I, you know, I can't use all of my abilities in this in this form. Um, I can't conjure another echo. So. But I can do most everything else. So. I don't know how much help it'll be to you, but uh, please put that back in, baby. If you can get uh, get away to, to uh, you know, send me a message, I might be able to uh, help you. In, uh, I might. I, or put the other mage on keeping a scrying eye on you. In case uh, you need help. How's it been going, by the way? And real quick, Eric would know, uh, based on this, that the the spell Andorot's Ephemeral Translocation, patent pending, <laughs> is uh, requires an hour to cast and is a ninth level ritual spell. How long does it last? Get nasty. Until I decide. Realistically, I have no idea. Okay. How, how long does it last? Eight hours. So if you take damage in this form, do you really take damage in, in your other form, in your real form? Oh, no, I said yeah. he's going to hurt you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, I guess we can go explore the castle. Wait, what? Yeah, look where we're at. Dude. Yeah, at this point you realize that you have again once returned to the, the derelict uh, cloud giant castle. We're back here. Yeah, I mean, I thought it would be a good idea to destroy the laboratory so other people couldn't have access to it. I've also never seen it yet, so I'm kind of interested. Dude, new guy. Chill. 
And then I start <laughs> off. <laughs> I lean over to knock and I say, yes, they are always like this. <laughs> and then I thought just... we could explore the other island that we hadn't seen. And also relocate you, the castle. You, you've you seen all four. Um, we only went to two. I said four. Um, you the one the one was the barracks, the first the first room the first island that you explored was the barracks that had the lab above it. Yeah. Where he kept his clones. The second yeah. was the one with all of the cages, what I call the zoo, where he uh, had all of I, the all of the people and everything like that. And then you have yeah. the, the prime building, and then the fourth one is the the landing zone. Oh, so we did go to all of them. I see. Yeah. But as you guys make your way back into the wizard chamber, um, uh, Vincent's primary domain, uh, you kind of make your way back in here, and uh, you do notice the teleportation circle on the floor in the middle. Um, but again, you'd kind of cleared out the rest of this. A lot of it was research materials and some different things to that effect, but... Um, you'd kind of cleared that out. What is it that you guys would like to do exactly while you've while you've returned here? I would like to try and figure out how the castle works. If it's a similar kind of function to the ship, as far as like a command center. Okay. Um, go ahead and make an investigation check. Uh, I take that back. You guys definitely would have seen this before. So it is in the chamber that you um, were below, where it had the. Again, if you recall, below this chamber, you enter the main chamber of the castle, and it had the giant obsidian shard that is somehow the power source for this, a power source that the doctor had tapped into with uh, mechanism and magic in order to draw that power out and increase his own strength, including um, transporting and containing a greater Baylor until Carmack disintegrated that force cage <laughs> and, I mean... Just got just ended the fight. Um, there is, at that note, a giant hole in one of the walls where the Baylor fled from, and uh, yeah, again the the rotting corpse of the the doctor um, has been snatched away. It is gone. Um, you can see like bits and pieces of flesh that kind of remained, as something had come in through that giant hole and just <laughs> snacked. Um, but you do see a lot of the same machinery, including a control conduit. Um, and it's bizarre because it's similar in certain ways to the control mechanism of the ship, except it doesn't have like that organic interface like the ship does, mm -hmm. which you've never seen anything like that anywhere else. Uh, this is instead has these, uh, it's a, an enormous platform. And it has um, all of these kind of runes, like these ancient giant runes that are inscribed around the inside of it. And upon placing a hand, you can telepathically cause the castle to drift. It is very slow, uh, but it can move. I would like to start directing it towards Brost. Okay. Towards Brost? I don't know how long that's going to take. It'll take a while. It would take um, it would take a couple of weeks, actually. Um, I mean, that's where we want to take the thing, right, bros? Yeah. That's what we said, right? Yeah. I mean, you can kind of drift that way. You're going back towards Tithir anyway. And then. Okay. You guys want to loot or anything? See if we can loot. Yeah, for sure. Uh, which you've already kind of picked the place clean. Um, I will say over the course of the next the next couple of weeks, you guys, your paths are going to reconverge, actually in Brost, because in order to get to Silverfang Keep, um, Vrogs, you have to pass up through Brost. And so yeah. as you guys are kind of making back that way, you guys kind of like clearing out stuff. Is there anything you want to keep or inspect or whatever? I mean, like there, there, are, there are a lot there. of very disgusting, disturbing did, things in this castle. Did they check out the one tower we didn't investigate? It's my favorite. While I was upstairs, they 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 investigated everything. You guys had been to okay. all the towers. Um, oh, we did. The, the one, did. yeah, the one tower called the barracks and the lab had the secret lab above it. That was one tower. The other um, tower was the zoo, and that had all of the 
the people that he was keeping and experimenting on, that weird um, yeah. creature. Okay. Uh, which, yeah, point of fact, you watch kind of like dissolve, like li like liquefied jello, basically. Nice. Um, and then the, yeah. you have the primary tower as well. The zoo is where I killed everybody, right? Yes, Timber where you... you, you <laughs> Does this, uh, does this fortress have any defenses like the airship? What's up? Mike? Uh, Eric, you're saying you maybe meet with the Brost Council or have your councils meet and let uh, Anne know that we are bringing her a castle? And does then I'm the Duke of the castle. Make sure that you huh? mention that part. Does she Eric? want this castle? Well, tell her she's getting one. She wants to do. Do you guys understand how politics work? <laughs> I mean, they have a crap wall and a crap defense. I thought they'd want a castle. That flies. She might. She might. She very oh, well could. Listen, you we just got said, two weeks to tell find her out. that's Can what you she's her? getting. Yes, okay. I will. Ask well, her. you know, we'll have, you know, it's your a girlfriend gift. talk to her. Yeah. <laughs> it's not polite to turn down the gift. It's true. I'll put that. It's true. All Bro frogs yeah. from 8,000 miles away. Hold on to it. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. I didn't mean any disrespect. I didn't yeah, mean to I know. You out. I know I kind of flew off the handle. I apologize. I also apologize. So you're going to duke me? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> We're torn. Here, I will say Here, this. Just... Taryn says yes. Yeah. Carmack says 50-50. Knox says... What's your... Your name is Knox, correct? Yeah. He says Listen. No. When Listen. in doubt. I, uh, I know. Has, has, you Knox, haven't... has Knox even earned the right to vote yet? Dang. Yes. Yeah, you have an adventure with <laughs> Nock as much. I don't, I don't think that Nock is the best judge of character. I have to say that. I completely disagree. He did attack well, frogs in the hallway. I know him better than you do, so... <laughs> that's kind of Trump fair. He, he probably does know me better <laughs> now, by now. Yeah, he probably does. That's true. And he's I, a bad I, judge I, of all character. I'm saying is, I'm I've best. lived... I, my best friend is a dwarf. Yeah. My mentor yeah. was... Except I don't me, know that. Right? Yeah, it's true. You know, you're like my mentor. What? <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> my best friend is a dwarf, and he's amazing. Yeah, but I mean, of course, what you meant to say was your best friend, other than me, right? Yeah, yeah of course, I knew it. <laughs> so, all right, you, uh, you want to settle this like men? W W V D. Oh God. What are, yeah. what are we fighting? Hey. All right, all right, yo, best of five, best of five arm wrestling competition. To Ooh. see if you I can become rage, a duke? You, know, you can, yeah, we're at a stalemate. You got to win it. You Let's want do it? it. Yes. Hey, yes. Adam, do yes. we fly over Zaz to get there? No, very much the opposite. Zaz is on the <laughs> southern, um, Zaz is on the southern end of Tithir, and you guys are headed towards the, uh, Silverfin Keep is on the very northern end, and you guys are far north of Tithir. Okay, so here's the deal. If if I win, you duke me, right? 100%, yes. Okay, yes. If I lose, you duke me tomorrow. <laughs> That's the deal. <laughs> That's, not... That's the deal. Okay, what's, what, what do I do if uh, if you win? If, if, if I win... Yeah, yeah. You... You have to, before I do you, you have to take the Duchess. On a date. On a date. And of she her has own free to tell, will. And of her own free will, she has to tell me that she had a great time. You I, mean, I hate her. you. <laughs> I you hate you so much. <laughs> you have to be a, you have to be an absolute gentleman. If you're not. Okay. Okay, uh, let's uh, compromise, meet in the middle, drugs are okay. Side note, real quick, if anybody here has not gone and seen that episode where 
Alton writes two letters. Go find it. <laughs> Go find it and watch it. I tried that. to sh- I tried to show Katie that because it was so funny, but I I couldn't find the episode. That's I still so I still need to. Uh, was that the one that yeah, I actually was that the one, one that I had to cut, Mike? Uh, it might have been the one I had to cut. Uh, very well. Very well. Uh, I I have it. I, I'll repost it. It was okay. hysterical. That is one of my favorite moments. Highlights. That's so good. Anyway, anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Continue. Okay, let's do this thing. I'll uh, I'll arm wrestle you. Let's okay. do it. You said I can rage. Yeah, you can rage. Because we both we both know if I don't I don't stand a chance. That's that is. I'm gonna true. I'm gonna punch Alton in the face so he can rage. Yes, thanks. <laughs> and I'm like I'm like bleeding from the nose. Thanks, mate. <laughs> uh, knock, knock, knock goes over to Eric and goes. Do you, do you, he whispers to you. He's like, do you do you need a. Uh, Assistance? This boy is pretty strong. I've seen him. Hey, hey! No. The new guy's cheating. <laughs> no. All right. We do it. We do uh, it. You didn't know. Up. You couldn't hear me. We so, do it straight up. Real I quick, say, I, you hear the, me? Do, I do say that. We do it straight up. Real quick for All the right. map, I'll point out that um, so right here is the Silverfin Keep, and Brost is basically right on the top of it. Zaz is a little bit to the south, and you guys are well up here. Oh, okay, um, okay. So you, yeah, so you guys are making your way back down here towards, towards that. I'll, I'll have a bigger map here of the, the area of Silverfin Keep and everything. Question: Are we doing just straight up strength checks, or are we, is this like an athletics? Athletics. Okay. Athletics. All right. I thought it was because it's like a grapple sort of a thing. And this will be right before you have to, um, like right before you have to leave. Actually. That's fine. Or no, no, I didn't. I didn't put any time limit on how long you could stay like this. You just, you know. So Eric knows this. You are split, but you have to kind of lean into one or the other. So if you choose to be more present on the boat, you are less present in the castle. Sure. Um, so keep that in mind. You're basically like it, it's almost like um, astral projection, like. You are mildly aware of it, so if like somebody comes in and talks to you, you can decide to kind of shift back into that mode. But like, you can really only be in one place heavily. Sure. Go ahead. A uh, really quick question too: Does the whole all four islands move, or yes. just the main island? No, they are all connected. Yeah. Yes. Well, okay. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this Are you thing. guys doing your thing? Yep. We're doing yep. our thing. Okay, Let's do you it. ready? Yep. Uh, I got a 22. Oh, that's not great. <laughs> Dang it. I got a 15. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Another one? Okay, we're let's doing best, do it. We're doing best of five, right? Best of five. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Go, uh, Taryn, punch me again. <laughs> punch uh, no, this, this counts as an attack. You did, okay. No, no, this, I, yeah, yeah, no, you, this counts as <laughs> No, you go ahead and punch the crap out of him. Uh, <laughs> you might beat me on this one. I got a 13. 27. Dang, my boy's crushed. All right, a little back and forth action. One to one. Oh, he beat me again, probably. I did not roll good on that one. 11. 16. Uh oh, he just needs one more. That's one strong boy. That's he what ain't she getting said. it this time. He ain't getting it this time. Twenty-seven. Sixteen. <laughs> so what's that? That's two, two. Two to two. two Next two. one wins. You guys are just like. Uh, I'm gonna punch him in the face. Wait, 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 wait. Do I get advantage on these because of rage? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what it grants you. Yeah, that's the whole point of the rage, you dummy. You've been too stressed out. You were too stressed out before. Did yeah. <laughs> Do I get to redo the ones that I failed? No. <laughs> what do you get? Six. How much? 26. <laughs> oh, my boy got me, dude. What'd you oh, get? Gosh. What'd you get? Yeah, my 23. <laughs> 23. Yeah, I got a 23. Ooh. All right. And so with with the final <laughs> burst of strength, 
slam it down, and you take the victory. And then, <laughs> and then I'm gonna run up and punch him in the face. Yeah, about about ten seconds later. <laughs> bah! Ah! It's over, you idiot! You don't even feel it. I mean, you're you're full blown rage and adrenaline at this point. You don't even feel it. Yeah. Can I, you're gonna punch what? him back. Yes. <laughs> just reflexively. I, I feel like if you don't, it's out of character. <laughs> so you <laughs> slug me, and I'm just like, how? <laughs> Roll for it. You okay. did. You hit. <laughs> Uh, 23. That misses. <laughs> no, it <laughs> doesn't. <laughs> that misses. That's awesome. You punch him directly in the soul. That, uh, the that, mi- that, <laughs> that, mi- that misses me. Oh my gosh. If you have your shield ridiculous. up. Yeah. Okay, Justin, you take. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me you do a bunch of damage, please. Hold up. Let me get my character sheet back. Uh, 29 points of damage. 14 damage. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Could have been worse. Okay. So, uh, do I just kneel down? Do you need to, like, go get your sword or something? Yeah, I better go ahead and get the sword. Let's do this yeah. thing! And with this, as he turns around to go walk away, he vanishes from sight. No! <laughs> No! <laughs> dude, dude, I wanted, I wanted to be like I lag out. Like oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Hang on, say my. I sorry, earned my, that. My, I think my headphones died. Dude, I should lag out. Like, yeah, you're like, like uh, 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 blip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get back out my scroll and start writing. E. <laughs> R. He must be using that uh, dial-up magic. Oh, that's good. I see what you did there. Um, over the Mc, two dude, weeks, Mc can Wi-Fi. I work with Duncan? Mick Wi-Fi. Yes. How many rolls? One, two. Yeah, sorry about that. One sorry about any weird echoes or anything. Um, yeah, how many successes do you have? Uh, I have, I think, eight successes and two fails. Let me double check. Yeah, okay. eight successes, two fails. All right, so go ahead and make two then. One per week. Okay. Okay. Uh, and First I will one, say, eight. what do I add to it? It's your animal handling, so it's based on your wisdom. And I don't think At you're. At any prepared. point, do I become proficient? I don't uh, think so. I'm not, but do I ever become proficient in practicing? Uh, uh twenty. I'm gonna use my luck because it's two yeah. weeks, right? Twenty-one. Uh, on twenty-one one. is a success. Uh, twenty. 20. All right. And that brings you to 10, and we will count that as a full blown success. At the end of this second nice. week, Duncan has completely um, imprinted upon you and will follow your commands. Oh, awesome. Nice. I don't have to wait. do it anymore? Nope, no more. Oh, oh you got him. You have that's lucky successfully... that I only got two fails. I know. That's, really... that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. So it's you... still luck, though. I used luck most of, a lot of the time. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a good use for it. Yeah. That's, so. yeah. Okay. Okay, so incidentally, Alton is really upset at first at Eric blinking away, but then he starts to think it's funny. <laughs> like, after a couple days, he, he sees the humor in it. <laughs> a couple so, days? A couple days. Is <laughs> Eric, it takes a while. Is Eric going to talk to the Duchess for us, or do we just show up with the castle? You don't know. If he I does, he I better tell the Duchess that I'm a duke. <laughs> I do. Eric, I are do. you going to... Yeah, I am going to go talk to the Duchess as soon as I'm able. That's sort of an Adam question. I think I could do that. Yeah, you want to... <clears throat> in fact... Um, are you still able to see Messenger, Mike, while you're on this? Uh, yeah, I can go over to Messenger. Okay, I'll send you a message, because there's a specific reason that you were pulled back. It, it The spell didn't run out. You were drawn back. Okay. Because um, I'm, I'm not going to have it run out. Uh, it's just based upon your choice and the uh, yeah and what you do and everything. So I am. Um, um, after it does happen, though, uh, Nock is gonna clap uh, um, uh, Alton on the shoulder and be like, "Boy, you've got uh, you'd make a good dwarf. You are very strong." Uh, thanks. I uh, I've got a secret. It's. Uh... 
I actually don't have anything funny to say. I was going to try to come up with something witty, and I literally can't think of anything. So, insert joke here. <laughs> yeah, I'm so funny. That's it. I was muted, but I said you're concealed cannon. Yes. Hey, Great. Great. <laughs> Great. Never Dude. mind. Knock doesn't laugh. He, uh, he calls the cops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, not, it's not the first time the cops have been called because of my concealed cannon. <laughs> Sometimes uh, I open carry, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Carmack, do you have the helm of languages? Helm of languages? I think Eric had yeah. that. No, I, yeah, that, I don't think I have. You don't have it? No, he, I, actually uh, gave, I actually gave it back because my other helmet or my other crown actually does that. Oh, and my other oh, crown. Do, do I? And Carmack has the spell or whatever to copy. Uh, I don't need it. Did you sell it? Uh, I can't remember. Did no. You, sell... oh, okay. you gave it back it to me? To, no, I gave it to uh, Absalom. Uh -huh. oh. Which he distributed that that he distributed that, his that, items back. That wasn't in Absalom's equipment though. I don't know. If yeah, if Absalom had it, he I took gave it. it to him. I gave it to him. It got yeah. stolen in Zaz. Rip. Yeah, so he took it because uh, he you said specifically <laughs> I, the thing. I was pretty care. I was pretty careful with my items. I trade. I probably gave it to somebody because. I it was yeah. not in my inventory. So it's yeah. it's gone. I don't have it either. I'm just having a really tar hard time understanding any conversation that Alton and Knock have with each other. <laughs> I don't think it'll help. But... You, you know what I'm saying, Carmack? I do. I'd be like um, yeah, even when they're speaking in common, sometimes it's hard for me to yeah, understand. It's very like, yeah. oh, hey, it's like listening. Way. It's like listening to a pig talk to a chicken. You know what I'm saying? I, I get to be the pig. I think that's racist. I'd be like, actually, I've, I've heard of, I've heard some pigs talk to chickens, and uh, it's quite amicable usually. Yeah. yeah. Also, what do you think about the new guy? Like, well, he saved my life. I mean, brought me back from the dead, so. I literally brought you back from the dead. Oh, was it you? Yeah. <laughs> wow, dude. Love it. That's <laughs> cold, man. That's cold. Getting cold as ice in here, boys. No, I couldn't. I actually, I couldn't remember fun. who. Oh, it was both of you combined, though. Like, you. He cast the spell, but then, like, you actually helped. Yeah, but I had to give him a whole diamond. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. But the cost for you was high, so yeah. 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 No well, one did I think... tell you I had. No, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, no one actually told me a lot. Of... <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, no, that. that's the thing. Well, Knock didn't know. I, I... Knock was just like, does this happen all the time? <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> yeah. So like at this point, yep. Taryn tells me this. I'm like, oh, so you 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 were the one that supplied the diamond, and he's like. Yeah. Well, you know, thanks. It was thanks my for only that. diamond. Uh, it was actually from my father. Make so a deception check. I, deception I, check. <laughs> at this point, I'm like. Carmack see. insight. Yeah, oh, I was. I was. Dead. I got a natural <laughs> one. You got a natural one. Let me see what yeah. I got. I hope you roll a natural one. Too. Uh, I got a seven. So. Uh, uh ten. I got a ten total. Yeah, he's totally lying. Yeah. So, like, when, when I see that you're suspicious, I'm like, listen, don't let him lie. You're not what there. Really Am I not there? Yeah, you're on the boat. Oh. You guys are just kind of like walk. Or I get, well, yeah. I take it back. You guys are in the castle. You're like doing different things. You could be, yeah. you could totally be in a different part I, of the castle. I, was, I thought we were having this conversation. In a side? Like okay. That guy. Yeah. Right, yeah, so yeah, you, yeah. you've got your side going oh. on. <laughs> Yeah, because because they were Whatever. talking, they were talking about how much they don't understand us. It'd be kind of weird if you were standing there. Yeah. Well, that, then again, that's legit. Then again, I, that sounds like something Taryn would do. Yeah, I guess I'm <laughs> incapable of turning around. My bad. <laughs> Excuse Actually, me, Carmack. I think. Were you first. talking about me? 
you know, we had that conversation about what the dragon said, but when you died, we were trying to figure out how to bring you back, and I was ready to use your wish, but a bizarre portal opened, and some lady was screaming that if we don't save you, the world is doomed, and then she disappeared. Right? She Isn't said, that what happened? Like the world was doomed. If it's, I didn't. It's not, yeah. That's not. Okay. No. That's, I that's, I know meta. That's what I heard. Not, but like. Oh okay. <laughs> my I don't conversation with her. It, it, she, meta, meta wise, she said, "If he dies, like she dies, basically." Um, yes. She said, but, "If you die, all women die." <laughs> like that'd be a really big no. point. <laughs> but I think she like, was actually uh, alluding to Sephora. She said she would die. Like yeah, that kinda makes sense with uh but I I learned what do you know about Sephora? Stuff. Oh. Like uh, let, let me see if I've. Oh yeah, I've processed this pretty well. Um, and I mean, I'm just like, like, don't feel like you have to share. I just, you know, share what you want. But I think there's a lot to her. It's like you're not that far from the truth. There's actually more than originally met the eye, apparently. I mean, I suppose I, I won't burden you with it all, but let me just say I was able to talk to her again when I was dead, for lack of a better term, because I was. Um, and I've got a bit of a clear understanding of my part to play. Um, Let's just say that, that I, I feel like she's someone that we can trust. Ominous. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Okay, but when you say your part to play, that sounds... Uh, I mean, let's be real. It sounds kind of culty. Are you back at it again, Carmack? I would, I would know cults, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, no. That's um, what I'm saying. I'll, I'll give you this. Um... She's chosen me as her champion. And there oh, are shit, other forces in play that would seek to end me and thus end her. So while I can't be with her by surviving and defeating the others, in a way I am protecting her. The last question, and this is a personal one. Is she in love with you as much as you are in love with her? That's pretty personal. <laughs> Let's just say I don't entirely know. But for the foreseeable future, we are in, um, I guess you could say, a long-term relationship. Have you seen... Ha, have as you long seen as I'm... Dragon. As long as I stay alive, so, you know. Have you seen her dragon biscuits? What was that? Biscuits? Have you seen her dragon biscuits? What? No, nothing as untoward as that. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Let's get that. <laughs> a gentleman. Uh, Alton's going to sign up for his classes. Um. Okay, and and then immediately drop out. Yeah. Ugh, boring. Hey. Ugh. There's no boobies. Hey, when do we get to play with the lasers? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, if you I'll trust her, I trust you. <laughs> so. Yeah. Let's just say I need to work at not dying a little more. Good. Uh... Mm-hmm. Good aspiration. Which I think that's Shut that's up, probably Paul, a good not good here. ideal for most of us, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
I think we should hire a tutor for Alton and I hate not. You. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> so maybe like an assimilation tutor. You know what I mean? Okay, cool. Do you, do you think he, yeah, I was going to say, do you think he's the teachable type? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think he's the manipulatable type. So if we give him a reason to use the tutor, then, you know, all we have to do is throw the Duchess out there and he'll do whatever we want. Speaking of which, Rogs, you make your way into Bros, and you notice that there's, like, uh, a big to-do. There's, like, like people are kind of like cheering. You would think there's almost like some sort of parade or like some big event kind of going on in the town. Uh, everybody seems to be really excited. There are uh, lots I, of yellow flowers. I, I immediately think it's for me. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I start waving at everybody. <laughs> yeah, uh, like everybody, like everybody, again, uh, here, map of bros. So you're you're approaching from the, the narrow bank and you're kind of coming in towards the city. Gonna kind of come up through the the purple, is that right? Yeah, purple song and head again towards the north, east. Uh, but as you're kind of approaching through, you do notice that like it seems to be centered around the the primary square. I'm um, gonna we'll go check it out. Okay, and as you make your way there, you can see that there's a, just a huge crowd packed into the square. Uh, lots of cheering and uh, some different uh, things. Can I? Can I try to dip out on these bodyguards since I'm near Steve Silver <laughs> Fang, so uh, I don't have to pay him? Uh, yeah, you absolutely can. Uh, first off, how many did you hire? I think I only had like two. Two? two or three. Okay, two guards? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, alright. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead and, go ahead and roll. Uh, roll um, a stealth check. Can I get advantage because of the number of people? Um, don't, do you get advantage on stealth checks as a goblin? I think so. It may be a, a feat. Hold on. Let me double check so I'm not talking up my butt here. Yeah, you check on that. I feel like it's a uh, goblin type thing. Goblin, like, squ something nimbleness. Nimble, yeah, nimble, nimble escape. escape. Yeah. yeah, you can take disengage or hide action as a bonus action for each of your turns. So okay. I can hide from them. <laughs> yeah, okay. So go ahead, go ahead and make a stealth check. Um, I, I will say with advantage. That's that's fair to say. Uh, Ooh, let's see. Real, what... real good. Let me give you a real number here. Uh, okay. <laughs> That'd be a dirty 20. Uh, dirty 20, ghost in the wind. Nice. <laughs> you can hear Yo, back what? kind of from behind you, you hear somebody be like, Oh, where'd he go? Oh, we lost the of him. Oh, gone. Uh, you, kind of, you kind of push through the crowd, and eventually you do see it's a literal parade. You see an actual parade. Several horses and coaches and different things like that. You do see standing up on, like, a big chariot, um... Duchess Anna Muldoon, hand in hand with Baron. Well, they get the name right. Oh no! <laughs> Raymond the Car, boys. Baron the Car. Do they look? Uh, with Baron Raymond the Car. Did you see what he's, I just texted you, Evan? He's yeah. holding her, he's Whoa. holding her hand up as they travel through the city back towards <laughs> the uh, the manor. Mm. Yo, am I about to get real right. angry? Um, is that what's about to happen? Oh, no, dude. We're killing him. I hate that guy. Dude, he hasn't brought her a castle, okay? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. We can, maybe we get there in time for you to object. Um, Are they married? Like, would I know this? Like, is this a wedding ceremony? You, or... I mean, you're a goblin, and you lived in the forest by yourself for a long yeah, time. Yeah, that's you true. You have no idea. The closest relationship I have is Becky, so that's understandable. Yeah, just just by <laughs> and you, you guys never go hand in hand. So, yeah. oh, by the way, over this course of time, I would have grabbed Becky, right? Yeah. Uh, over those couple of weeks, uh, how many slots did I get for that spell story? Uh, five levels. Uh, so, ju so just like this, the ring of spell story. Just so five if five I levels. use one fifth level, that maxes it out. Yep. Okay, I'm I'm gonna store a fifth level fireball in it. Okay. Um, and I think it only lasts 24 hours. Am I wrong? I'm wrong. I take that back. I don't know. Google that. Yeah, it, it stays in there. It stays, okay. Okay. It stays Thanks. in there. Yeah. Thank you. I was thinking. Um, but I yeah, I run up to her car carriage, not 
knowing of etiquette. And other you like you that. absolutely cannot make your way that close as they are surrounded by red tide. Um, the guards. I, I'm going. And they to... are incredibly vigilant. How how close? How Shoot close are we talking brain. about? That's all that matters. I mean, they are compl- They're probably three deep. And they line the rows of the carriage. So I would say that there are probably 30 guards that are in their direct vicinity. I'm going to and they are right around. get I'm going to get myself as small as I can yeah. and try to crawl. <laughs> and, and so, you know, by the way, there's a gap between them and the crowd. So you still would have to clear open ground to get to them. Okay. I, I'm still going to try to get myself as small as possible. Okay, um, and it doesn't take, I mean, you make it like five feet out of the crowd before one of the guards that you could tell now realize they had made like a barricade like for the crowd, like keeping the crowd back. <laughs> one of them immediately pounces upon you. Question. Yeah. Bef- I'm jumping back a minute. Uh, do I see any of the, you know the guard I gave the gems to? Uh, yeah, but at this point... Um, <laughs> Make what it, I've seen him. Make That's a history the... check for me with disadvantage. This is a guy oh. you haven't seen in a couple of months, and you're not great with people faces. That's true. <laughs> it's worth a shot, though. Uh, I... That's a... Yeah, that's a nine. Uh, you sh- and you absolutely nine. recognize him. He's standing about ten feet away from you. <laughs> uh, it's for sure that guy. I go up to him and be like, huh? <laughs> Back up! The... Back in the line! Does that have to be so rude? Um, am my familiar? Uh, as they're like, I take it at this point, they're already probably passing me. Yeah. So, I'm trying to keep them up, but I'm trying to see if my familiar has telepathy. The pseudo dragon does. Yeah, it does. Okay, I want him, uh, him to inconspicuously fly up to the Duchess and tell her that Bronx is back, and he's trying to get through the guard. Okay. Um. And so yeah, so he flies over to get close enough to be able to do this. Um. You can see like recognition in her head, like she like turns her head almost like she's trying to look before your <laughs> pseudo dragon is just pumped full of lead. I mean, arrows from all over, just <laughs> da, 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 like pin cushion the crap out of this thing. And it just poofs in the mist. It just... <laughs> but you do get the idea that the message was delivered prior okay. to it being <laughs> eviscerated. All right. Well, I start jumping up and down and screaming really loud just to get the guard's attention <laughs> so that maybe she'll look over this way. Uh, and she is already too far away. You could tell that she's like looking around, but by the time like you're kind of surrounded by guards and um, you kind of have to explain yourself, like, oh, you know, I'm, I, what exactly? What do you say? As a couple of guards do come up and kind of surround you, but you could tell that she's too far away to, to really hear you. I just I tell the guards I go. Um, and that guy's like, hey, I told I you back in line. Who are you to talk to me? I'm part of the skeleton crew. Oh. Uh, come with us, then. They're expecting you in the manor. Yeah, that's what I thought, tough guy. Okay. <laughs> you need to right. back. <laughs> oh, my boy's like, yo! That's what I thought, boy. All right, so they... And I, I scold all the guards <laughs> the whole way. They're going to put them in jail. Familiar. <laughs> so, so they, uh, they begin to, 100%. um... 100%. Like, lead you up towards the manor house, um... Huh. And then the guy's like, yeah... Uh, they're expecting you in the meeting hall over this way. And they, the, so they walk away, uh, away from the main entrance over towards the right, where you can see there's like a whole new wing that looks like it had been put onto the manor house. Um, would I know anything, like, suspicious, like, that I would be being make, led astray? Uh, make an insight check. There, are, dirty, there are, dirty twenty. Uh, okay, and there are there are about six guards that are with you now. Um, you can tell that like things are different. Um, 
But, I mean, you don't really get the idea that you're being led astray or anything yeah. specifically. Because right? I didn't trust the Red Tide to begin with. Yeah. So, uh, okay. I'm cautious, mm. but I go to the meeting hall. All right. And so as you kind of uh, round round back up that way, they, they let you into the building and... Um, immediately upon a like as soon as you like walk in you realize that this is not a meeting hall of any kind you can see a few uh jail cells and uh what looks to be maybe 10 other guards before they pounce you uh i cast you are immediately if i'm able to so i do have warcaster okay if that matters you didn't have anything prepped so they're going to get their attacks on you are you talking about an action yes Prepped. Okay, because I was yeah. gonna, I was gonna whip out the uh, the fireball I had stored. Yeah, you were you were suspicious, but they they are going to act before you, so they are gonna, immediately gonna uh, pounce upon you. Um, okay, and start just beating the crap out of you, honestly. Um, get okay, that, so get that shield spell up. Because you're spell you're you're a rival you're you're a rival uh, mercenary group. <laughs> That's why you told them. <laughs> uh, okay, so my first attack, I've got. 21. They're not mercenaries, though, are they? Uh, yeah, Red Tide are, yeah. They're like a whole guard. They're the 21. Oh, they're yeah. Like yeah, that's one, that one's going to hit. Um, Let me see. You're going to shield up, dude? You're going to shield up or no? I... Let's see. It's a reaction, so... Yes, you could use yes. it. You can use it. And, and, it, and, and it lasts apply, for every hit. To all the attacks. Oh, yeah. plus... It gives me plus 5. Okay, for, yeah. For, I'm going to use, I'm gonna use shield. all the attacks. Yeah. Uh, it's awesome. It's okay, my so spot. does that does that cause that that cause you to block? Uh, shield just gives yeah. me plus five to my AC, so my AC would be a twenty. A twenty, so the twenty one still hits. Yeah, twenty one uh, still hits, but. Okay, with that, take an eight. This is the right dice, right? Yeah. Uh, you take nine bludgeoning. I'm sorry, nine. Uh, yeah, bludgeoning damage from the first one. It crack. You feel just the impact in the back of your head. Uh, guard two, uh, misses. Guard okay. three is going to be an 18, also miss. Yep. Guard four, miss. Guard five is going to hit. Uh, this one feels substantially heavier. Um, you take 12 bludgeoning damage. Then another one. Uh, it's, that's a 22, and okay. this one, this one is as heavy as the last one. You take, ooh, ones. Um, where's my, where's my, uh, you take five bludgeoning damage from that, at which point you do see a mage walk out, uh, and you can go ahead and roll initiative here. As the mage begins to cast a spell, um, you got a seven. Okay, let me see. Five v eight. Thirteen. What what spell is this? Just to be. Sleep. Sleep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Magic. If it was magic missile, it doesn't work against shield. Right. So, just wanted to make sure. Uh, do I got to roll a skill or check on that saving throw? It's based off HP. Yeah, oh, okay. he rolled. He rolled all the dice. Not even a save. Yeah, no save. I can't count my brain. Uh. I'll go one level up. Um, fifty-three. Do you have less? Yeah. Than, you have less than fifty-three HP. That's more than my maximum HP. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> As you begin to, uh, in fact, I'll even allow you to re- to release. Um, in fact, yeah, kind of through Becky, I'll allow you to release the fireball if you want to just uh, wherever you want to drop it. He doesn't have Becky. Yeah, yeah I do. He yeah, he yeah, I got it. Bef- I got it back left. before I left. Zaz, yeah. Uh, That's when he oh, left. Zaz. Okay, yeah. That was the whole reason why I, I went to Zaz. 
Yeah. I, thought, um, I thought she was back at Silverfin. No. No, he had her in Zaz to get an upgrade. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, the dragon teeth I collected, I put into Becky so I could use those for, like, uh, spell storing. It's part of oh, cool. Becky's upgrade. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to drop that fifth level fireball on him. All right, light him up, dude. Um, so, what's 10, 10d6? Yes. Where's it at? Here we go. And through the bars of the window, you see a, a shadow. That would be 33 damage to all everyone around me. Oh, jeez. You might have killed some of them. Uh, 33 damage. Yep, and it is a <laughs> 100, 100 feet the range, and it's a 20 feet circum like a circle. Yeah. You, you see what? four of them burn to ash just before you drop into unconsciousness. Wouldn't this wake him up too? No, because it's kind of uh, I kind of let him have that before before yeah. he fades out. Um, so yeah, it's just <clears throat> and then you slump to the ground and unconsciousness. Because it was it was almost like Becky did it for me. Yeah. So <laughs> okay, Eric. The reason you had to leave was because a dwarf came rushing in, um, and like at this you could tell, yeah. and so you shunt back. And when you shunt back into your I'll call it your primary body. You yep. uh, you lose that that extra uh, like that translocation. So you yep. you're shunted back into your awareness, and he yep. comes running up to you and he goes, All "Right, uh, your Majesty, sorry to bother you. I knew you said to only come back if it was some sort of emergency, but that is exactly what we have." Um, Krimdak, the rock giant leader, has challenged you to a one-on-one. -on -one combat and if you can succeed you will broker peace amongst the giants and if you fail they'll consider you weak I accept Obviously. oh very good he's just outside actually yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's very good uh, he's saying it with his chest <laughs> yo All right. I hit my stuff on boys let's roll dude Okay, all right, so you make your way out, and they're kind of, like, prepping you the whole time, like, all right, listen, uh, like, combat is laid out, um, and you know that at this point, you guys have raised a couple of small structures outside of the, uh, outside of the keep, like these, uh, small stone structures that, at one point, like, you kind of intend to expand the city into the valley in the front, but as it stands, it's mostly just, like, a big, uh, rocky death trap yeah. like it's yeah. like uh you know like a stone giant is just kind of like th this is how tall is this dude 20 foot uh stone giant is considered huge so yeah and he's gonna be big on behalf of them he's you win he's the right much. to be their leader so he's yeah he's probably somewhere between 22 and 25 feet tall yeah, um 25 yeah, yeah. Fighting the mountain. Gray skin, big club. All right, so you, you go out of the doors. They close the doors behind you, and in front of you, you see this big open valley, and that is all that you see at first. And then you realize that some of the rocky structures that you see are, in fact, other stone giants that have kind of taken up seating. Uh, like, no. As the mountain kind of like coasts down, it's kind of lined with stone giants right now as they're kind of yep. watching. Yeah, I'm in. Roll. What do you do? Do I see this guy? Uh, make a perception check. All right, we'll do. We'll do. Yeah, pull my dude up here. Eric, boom. Uh, let's see. Perception. So close, hate to see it. Uh, seven. Seven. Um, you're looking. <laughs> you're like looking around, and you can see the other stone giants now, but you don't see a combatant of any kind. Um, you do eventually see a boulder come screaming out of the sky straight towards you. Uh, I got a twenty-three to hit. 23 to hit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that hits. Hits. Okay. Uh, so you're like... Question, uh, question. Is he attacking me or my echo? 
Did you have an echo out? I always have an echo out. Um, it's an unlimited ability. I mean, yeah, I, I'll say for out. this, I don't know where your echo is standing. I don't know how close it is to you. He's attacking okay, that's fine. you. Okay. Um, okay. So, yeah. At, so at this point, this giant rock comes flying through the air. Uh, well, I'm just gonna, for the sake of brevity here, you take a. 28 bludgeoning damage as this rock just slams into you. I need you to make a strength saving throw. As you begin to feel like the ground kind of quake underneath you. It's a strength save? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, strength save is... 17. 17 is just what you needed. You kind of like stumble down to... Uh, like Ooh. as it slams into you, like your left hand goes down to the ground, and you feel the ground shake. And so as you look up, you kind of push yourself back up to your feet. As he comes running from around one of the buildings with this giant, what looks like a stalactite or something, uh, in his hands, and he's just roll initiative. All right, what'd you get? Eight. Eight. All right, he goes first. Yeah. Uh, so as he comes... Uh, let me get my... I want to make sure that I... Okay. As he comes running up to you, he, uh, you know, hoping that he would have knocked you prone, he doesn't. But he comes up with this giant club to try to slam into you. Uh, he does not get advantage on it, but that's a that's going to be a 26 to hit. Yeah, that's it, that. Uh, okay, okay. One of my eights. I'll grab some eights here. Uh, eh, probably gonna come out to average. Uh, 21 bludgeoning damage. Um, but at this, he's confused as he sees two of you. So with his second attack, he's going to attack the, um, the Echo. Uh, which actually is a 13. Miss. Okay, so he misses the echo. Uh, <laughs> he slams into you. Uh, and then, yeah, so now it's your... So the first one, he comes through and just <laughs> slams into you and swings around and, and takes a swipe at the echo, but uh, it, he doesn't make contact with it. All right, what do you do? Okay, I would like the echo to... Uh, I'm going to attack with my echo. Okay. And can I, can I sort of... Um, I don't know, do like a, almost like it blinks in and out. Like, so it's like attacks here and then up and then up. So it's like three different yeah. spots on it. You know what I mean? Kind yeah. Of a little bit of a. Like an anime kind of thing. A little bit of an anime setup. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're going to go. Only that's if you be... scream in Japanese right now. Mm. That's going to be. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was really good. Um, let me see what where's my plus uh, action. Um, Twenty three to hit. Hit. Nat twenty. Nice. And last one. Uh, just a straight twenty. Dirty. Dirty. All hits. Okay. All hits. Yeah. And let's see, that's going to be forty six. Forty six total. Forty six total. Forty six total. All right, so uh, yeah, as you just got, kind of... I'm going to action search. <laughs> right, you can see like these almost Come like change. like yeah. chunks of his what you think is skin at first, like. Fall it's off. no, dude. It's rock, bro. It, well, yeah, it's almost like a big callous layer of this like stony like skin that is like on the outside of his body. Uh, big hits though, big hits. Okay, we're gonna axe and surge, do it all again. Hopefully. Hit it. Uh, Mike, are you adding in your flame tongue? Yes, yes, okay. I am. I am. Um, that one is. Uh, 
and uh, 21. Awesome. So all all, yep, all hit. Let him have it, dude. Uh, That's insane. Is that no? 12? Did I? I no, I didn't have it. Dude. You're right. It, that'd be twelve d six a roll, right? <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, right. yeah, I didn't, I didn't last time. I only did half that. Okay. <laughs> What's not that? A, not, not a roll, not a roll. That's in a oh, round. Okay, he okay, does twelve d six. Yeah, so uh, he he did twenty four d six just now, <laughs> essentially, geez. which is pretty crazy. <laughs> no, I actually didn't add the other part to the first one. But oh, um, it's okay. It's not a big deal. I I, I genuinely forgot it this time. Uh, that is fifty eight. Uh, additional? Yeah. Holy crap. That's actually what the other one should have been more like. But... 100 damage in, in a turn. That's in. Yeah, good. Lady, so actually, yeah. I, actually, I actually forgot. I actually, it should have been. So it's still your turn. Add it in. What is it? Uh, 22. Would be the extra. Additional 22? Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap, dude. Because some of that's uh, the flame thing. Yeah. That's like. <laughs> The flame dung does like 4d6 every time I hit. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, yeah. so again, kind of feeling like all of this happened, he takes two additional swings. Um, I'm actually hurt bad. Like, don't think that I'm like just walking around like I'm fine. <laughs> uh, okay, so the first one against the Echo is going to be uh, 24. That's going to kill him. Okay, so he's poofed. Second attack coming towards you, natural 20. Natural that twenty, dude. Uh, that is that's eight d ten. No, 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 wait. Let's go, boy. No, no, no. It's sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. No, yeah, it's the rock that does the extra ten. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Well, I rolled bad. So first one's it's ten doubled. Uh, Thirty-two bludgeoning damage. Ooh. Okay. Uh... Are you still up? Yeah, but I'm hurting, boys. <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. All right. So yeah. So you just <laughs> he thinks he just crushed. It's like some... maybe you have a twin brother. I don't know. He's a giant. You know. He's not like really overthinking this crap. Right. But um, he crushed one of you. You're dead for sure. Uh, and so he slams into the second one like that. And as he does so. You can see him like breathing heavily. He's like, <gasps> and you can see like this blood kind of running down from each of the gashes that you left from your initial attacks. Mike, I know you're since you're also standing and working. Are you adding in your heavy armor mastery stuff? I am actually. Okay. Believe Dang, it or not, dude. I am. Because that saved me like twelve HP already. Yeah. You're not. Are you wearing click cotton jam? Are... Uh, yes, I have okay. the. Um, I have the. Uh, I don't have. Um, the one. I only have the other. I don't have the slots for all of them. So. Oh, okay. Oh, like attunement? Yeah, I don't have enough attunement mm. for everything. So you just have um, the armor? You just have click up? I have the armor. I have the, I have the armor on, yeah. Okay. Alright, your turn, man. Roll this for Uh, pretty decent. Uh, dirty 20. Hit. Another dirty 20. That's a lot of 10s in that next game. That's my first Yo! natural 20 in several games. Uh, I mean, 28. So that's a yeah, bunch of all are good. That's a pretty good roll. Is this, no! Where, why is this thing not showing me what I got? Oh, there it goes. Okay, 42. Uh, 63. Oh my 63 gosh. damage. So, so <laughs> your boy, so your boy does another <laughs> echo, dude. And I'm like, alright. I, I imagine I have a, like, a bloody mouth. See. Like, I've just got bloody you mouth. Only had, you, you dropped him dead, Mike. He had what? 61, dude. Dude, life. check this out. I imagine I have like a bloody mouth, right? Now yeah. I get up, like spit, and like wipe it off. And I'm like, this dude's legit. I even want to say something like that. Like, hey, 
you're you're a legit opponent. But I'm gonna have to go ahead and end this. And then I do that same thing, dude. Kind of just I do want my anime I do, slashes. I yeah, because I mean, it doesn't make sense like for me to like just attack his ankles. I feel like I'd say. Yeah, it. right. Yeah. Um. So yeah, same kind of stuff still. I mean, All right. It's just in my mind, this is just like a you stand and deliver sort of a clang yeah. and bang, you know, just like trading blows until somebody falls. Yeah. Would the would the rock giants recognize him if he killed him? We're about to find also, out. Uh, okay. well, I, also, I also I also don't want to like straight up kill him. Can I like? Yeah, you can you can pull the punch. So as you kind of you slash through, take your your final swipe, and as your echo kind of formulates back into your body, he drops to a knee, uh, and looks towards you before collapsing to the ground. One by one, the other stone giants stand up and kind of surround. One of them begins to make their way to his unconscious body. Uh, speaks a word in a language. Do you speak giant? Uh, I have the. Oh yeah, thing right, right, right. Comprehend so all you, language. you comprehend it, and it is. Can I? Can I heal this guy? Can I heal him? Can you? Yeah, uh, I'm asking. Can I heal him? If you have the ability, I don't know. Well, I still have the uh, the, the dwarven amulet. Yes. Yeah. Healing word. Yeah. So I would as, like to. I would like to heal him up. Like I don't want him to just sit there. I want to like. Right, uh, and you could tell like. It's a sign of respect, you know. What I mean? Like yeah. Which is huge, uh, and so like as you as you do this, as the other shaman is reaching into a pouch and bringing something out, he stops and looks at you, kind of nods. The other, the stone giant, um, comes to, comes back to consciousness, and uh, they begin to kind of surround him and. Like, start to lead him away. At this point, your emissary... Where's my notebook? The, uh... The half-giant that you had recruited from Starspire. Oh, oh yeah. Nameless. I've got it here. Something with a T, right? Tamaris. Uh, Tamaris says to you, You have earned their respect. They will honor the peace. Good. I uh, I couldn't take much more of that. <laughs> and he like pats you on the back and you're like, oh, gee, okay. Oh, hey, uh, easy. Wow. I need some ice. I need some ice. <laughs> so you, yeah, you make your way back into the castle. Speaking of castles, as Castle Dark Cloud, until you guys rename that, drifts over the city of Bros, you can see a hustle and bustle um, down below. It is almost 11 o'clock. So as you guys approach the uh, the city of Brost, you guys kind of come to we come to rest playing. over oh top. <laughs> uh, you guys begin to rest over the top of the castle. What do you guys like to do? Uh, I mean, do we know if the uh, Duchess knows we're coming? How many how many days have I been in prison? Uh, this is a few hours. Uh, okay. Yeah, after you got here. You guys you guys arrived at pretty much the exact same time. You're muted, Evan? <laughs> it's probably yeah, a good Evan. thing. Now I'm going to have to go back and watch the live feed and try to lip read what you said. Yeah. Uh, I also just, I can go just, talk to the Duchess before we talk to this bad boy. Is that cool? Well, you thought I was going to do that. You probably thought she was talking to you already. I, I don't know if she was. You never told us. You did kind of dip rather suddenly. No, you said, can you go talk to her? And I said, yeah, I can talk to her. Oh, yeah, he did say that. We just don't know the timing. Of it. I, just, have I, just, I just did. The method. Method. So you did or you didn't? I'm confused. He said he would, I, but he I hasn't told you I yet. I would, but I didn't. I didn't go there. I fought the giant. Yeah, he hasn't well, had time I to it yet. Took a, it, took us, it took us two weeks to get there. You fought the giant for two weeks? Uh, no, that was... that was. <laughs> um, so the time's a little bit wonky. It took you... Yeah. It took you two weeks to get back, 
but he, you guys had all this conversation and everything like that, maybe about halfway back. So it's been, you know, it's been a little over a week. Um, but, and so, yeah, you, you've had some time pass, Eric. If I could let her know, if I could have talked to her, then I would. But if I can't, then I won't. Um, it's your call. It's up, totally up to you, okay? Yeah, and you do find out that uh, she has recently accepted engagement terms from Raymond Dakar. They are Oops. not married, um, but are we, gonna, are we gonna are we gonna RP this or no? Uh, it's just kind of exchange of letters at this point. Um, okay, now I want to bamf on to the uh, the ship okay. slash castle. I'm yeah, so. The boys know. As you guys are, yeah, as you guys are probably about a day out, Eric returns. Is hey, she um, excited about the castle, Eric? Well, um, what did she say about the castle, Phil? Uh, so you say, hey, we're bringing you a castle, uh, a yeah, flying like, castle. Hey, gotta, um, yeah. at, at first she's like, she expresses like, this. you're a very confusing group, um, Guys are idiots. I sounds like an engagement gift. <sighs> you know, I it. mean, I That's to be that. honest, to be honest, uh, yeah. Anna, I'm um, I'm really occupied with Silver Thing, and I, I'm not really sure the plan behind this, but they said that the, they didn't want it to end up in the wrong hands. King Eric, if I can be honest as well, I don't think they have ever had a plan about anything <laughs> ever. Strictly speaking, that is absolutely correct. If I... Um, are, are you in person here, or have you just, just through no, correspondence? Yeah. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna in person be like, listen, um, if you don't want it, we'll figure something else out. Like, um, they thought perhaps it would be helpful for bros to have uh, some fortification, um, we, if not, I will work something out there. It's something I would have to consider. I would say that... You have four days. It would be... You, yeah. How long Brost, you Brost has had the pleasure of being somewhat inconspicuous before. That would be completely ruined if we had a flying castle above our city. Also... My next question is... I really have no where, way of getting to the castle. Where would you... Is there any other suggestions you have for where to put it? I have never before thought of this. I... I know. I, I would have to give it some time. Um, some consideration. I, I cannot immediately think of a strategic advantage for the castle. Okay. Um, at this point, it, it's just a beacon. I, I, I don't know. I hate to. I hate to turn down a gift. I'm speaking. I'm speaking plainly to you, and and I apologize if that's uh, out of line. But it's all I. It's all I can say for you. Well, aside from the the, uh, the castle, how uh, how do you feel about things? I feel great. Um, Brost is. Doing I inside well. check the nuts off that slash. And this is all through a letter. No, I'm in person. No, he said oh. he went in person. Th this is in person. Okay. Uh, yeah, inside check. Hang it out. Eric, uh, Evan left. By the way, Adam. Yeah, I I understand. We're we're gonna call it here and just say. Uh, inside looks like a 16. Uh, a 16. You catch a, um, a few subtle things that she is intentionally leaving for you to catch. Yep. Which indicates that... Her words are both true and false. Um, she indicates that she is happy for Brost, and that is her primary goal in life she would do anything for her people and for her city and so she's happy in that regards 
And that is where we will end tonight's episode. Gentlemen, we will take next week off. Enjoy your families. Enjoy Christmas and the holidays that you guys have coming up. Uh, I guess a week after that is New Year's Eve. We can talk and chat yeah. if we want to. And Mike will be in person ready to roll. Okay. We could we could talk about uh, if we want to play on New Year's Eve or not. I'm fine with it, but uh, I'll leave it up to you guys. Great How game. Great game tonight. Uh, man. Yep. Just fantastic. Even though it was convoluted because everybody's all over the world, <laughs> but it was uh, it was awesome. Yeah, well, that was some great stuff. That was some great D and D boys. All right, we will gonna miss it next week. Yep, yep. We will see you guys later, and we'll find out what's up with bros. All right, later, boys. All right, see you guys. Right. See you. New Year's Eve. We'll, whether I'm there in person will just depend on my test results. So understood. Just heads up on that. Understood. I hope you get an A plus, man.